All right, man. So I'm a huge Danganronpa fan. I don't know if I'm actually going to ever upload this on YouTube, but I wanted to record this just in case. So I'm a huge Danganronpa fan, and this is a game from the same developers uh, as Danganronpa. This game is called Rain Code. Uh, so it's kind of like, from what I'm trying to understand, it's kind of like a detective type game. I'm not really too sure, but you hear this song already, and it just sounds like Danganronpa. So, you know, I'm already locked in, but we're going to go ahead and see how I feel about this. Uh, again, huge Danganronpa fan. Love Danganronpa 1, 2, and 3. And uh, just to go ahead and start off with a hot take, I think the ending to Danganronpa 3 was really good, and I really enjoyed it. I know that ending is very divisive, but I like it. It's also, like, late o'clock in the morning, so my lights are off. And I got my uh, I got my bra out, so you guys already know the vibes. Just chill vibes today. Maybe I'll upload this. We'll see. I feel a little self-conscious. I'm going to put my cam smaller. <clears throat> okay. Got a little ghost Pokemon. Oh shit. Oh look, a human. It's been a while. They're talking to me. Anyway, that was a good nap. I nearly slept through the whole thing. Let's see. Alright, there's something I have to do first. Okay. Okay. Human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. I have the MX Master 3 mouse. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Now then, display the options. Okay, what is this? Lenient, mean, adorable, or troublesome? Um, I'm a get. I'm gonna guess adorable is the easiest. Why do they have it set up like this? What the fuck does this mean? I'm gonna guess adorable is easiest. Lenient is like medium easiest. And then mean is the hardest and troublesome is like kinda hard. Lenient is definitely normal. Um. I don't know, Lenient kind of sounds easy. Like, Adorable sounds like Mickey Mouse mode. Lenient sounds easy. And then the other two sound like they might be the hard difficulties. But why would they ever lay it out like this? Um, Hold on. I'm going to look up what these difficulty things mean. Give me uh one second. Okay, so I guess it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, We'll go mean sure about that don't say i didn't warn you <laughs> hmm you want to know what difficulty that is the one you selected is how difficult yours truly will be on you i'll be as difficult with you as you wish ah, ga, 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 ga. it's a play chat now, to be honest it's all the same no matter what you pick oh okay i'm your lenient mean troublesome that makes sense partner after all so are you ready do you want to start for real do you seriously want to start seriously for real okay yup seriously huh. guess you're really here for it sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries yes i am just can't wait to go on adventures with me right of course let me play <laughs> humans are so weird well let's get this started it's time to embark on my lovely thrilling wonderful mystery solving adventure let's go Okay, well, that was an intro. <laughs> Ooh. Massacre on the Amaterasu Express, Chapter Zero. Amaterasu? Like, from Naruto? Wait a minute, I know that. Ooh, shit. Uh-oh. 
you know that's a Danganronpa uh, uh, pro tag when they got the little, the little hair flick thingy. It's classic. Whoa, what's going on? I love the Danganronpa Wait. art style. It looks so good. Huh? Where am I? <laughs> Do y'all like the Danganronpa art style or no? Who? What? <laughs> I kind of hit that. I love how stylized these games are too, uh, man. Why? Uh, how? Uh, I can't remember anything. Does that mean? Dude, the music just give me Danganronpa vibe. Oh, I'm so Do locked I in. Have, what was it called? Amnesia? Uh, all right, calm down. Take a deep breath. Bro, Nova said she was interested in playing Danganronpa. I'm about to, I'm about to lock in Dang it. if she actually plays that I can't shit. Can't remember anything. Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Inside your pocket. Huh? Huh? Check your belongings. Who's there? Am I hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? <laughs> Me when the perk kick in type shit. Ow! Ow! Oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. Check my belongings. Huh. An envelope. There better be an auto advanced text box option. Ooh. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Yuma Coco Head, you are hereby dispatched to the Special Autonomous Zone of Kanai Ward. Bro's name is Coco Head? Nah, there's just no way. I am not playing as a main character named Coco Head, dog. Dispatch duration indefinite. <laughs> Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. Okay. There you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Yuma Coco Head? <laughs> That's my name? Let me change the last name. That nah, that was my last name. I'm getting married immediately, and I'm taking her last name, bro. I don't care. That's right. I finally remember. My name is Yuma. I'm Yuma Coco Head. That ass. <laughs> I'm Yuma Coco Head. But what's this about a world detective organization? It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? If that's the case, am I a detective? Wait a minute, I'm a detective? I guess these kind of look like a detective's clothes. Is it that what a detective like wears? to get on a train. Or at least, I think so. Master detectives? Am I one of them? Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time. Well, I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. Attention! Oh, before rushing off to the train, let's start with the basic controls. Walk around and explore the room. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, I recommend moving the camera around to explore the surroundings. Places with an uh, ex oh, examination marker can be expected, or inspected even. Make sure to investigate areas of interest. You can fast forward and auto advance through dialogue. Cinematics can be skipped. Okay. Gotta stay in that detective mindset. Detective points or DP can be earned by conducting detective activities like investigation or gathering info. Sure, hope you got all that Earning done. DP increases the detective rank. Maybe something cool will happen when the rank goes up. Nice. Don't you forget. The ultimate worst last name. Nice. Icons on the uh, mini map mark the next objective and or people to talk with. Okay. Okay, I, I think this game has like an interesting art style to take advantage of like the Switch's limited capabilities. Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. Okay. What's this little robot? A toy robot? It looks sturdy. The label says lost items. Okay. What's this? A hand mirror. I see myself. I'm still not used to this. Back of the room. There's something in the back, but I can't get through with all the things in the way. Stuff might fall if I try to move out. I'd better not go back there. Okay. Kind of weird that that wasn't voice, but everything else Why was. Why are there so many umbrellas? The label reads, Lost Items Temporary Storage. Okay, we gaining detective points. I think the Switch being limited really made a lot of creators think outside the box for their game's art styles. Yeah, for sure. I just wish that the game, that the switch had a bit more power. There's cardboard here. Um, it's too dark to make anything out. Did I investigate everything here? I'm pretty sure. Rank up. We got skill points and memory cap. It said. Don't know what that is quite yet. You got a dialogue, history box thing. All right, cool. Let's go outside. Let's move on. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact. Uh, gotta be the stations lost and found. That's right. I've been sleeping in a stations lost and found section. Chad, am I smart? I just but might be. Why was I sleeping here? Did I faint or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Attention Honestly, if the Switch the 2 really is station. PS4 Direct uh power, power I think that'll be good enough. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. Okay. The Amaterasu Express. Um, hurry up and save, please. I'm trying to get to the next point in the story. Damn, give that switch a SSD too, bro. Jesus Christ. It took so long to load. I'm sorry. The Amaterasu Express will now depart. Time. Ooh. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. Okay. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state of the art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. There is no crew aboard the train. Thank you for your understanding and support. No crew, Automatic? huh? So nobody's driving this thing. This train has Chat, would you cars trust automatic cars and trains and planes and shit? Destination. Food and beverages are available in car two. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. 
In case of an emergency, visit the backup control room in car 3 and contact control headquarters via the intercom. We hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kodai Ward. Yeah, honestly, so there are five I feel like cars. automated trains make a lot of sense. One at the front. Like, it's literally a track. How can I you fuck that up? Other detectives and meet up with them. If we use this... The notebook menu has features and info useful for investigations. When info gets updated, it'll be marked with a new marker. Yo, check, check. In case files, you can see an outline of the ongoing case and the next objective. Whoa. In save load later. file, current progress can be saved or the game can be started from saved data. How convenient this modern world is. You definitely want to remember this. You can uh, save whenever master is able to walk around freely, but there are some exceptions, so be and careful. In options, game settings can be adjusted. I don't like the idea that somebody can hack my car while it's driving. Hmm. What if you're just paranoid? It says main control room A. And the door's locked. It won't open. I feel like cars. There's a driver's seat inside, but no one's there. The machine appears to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. I feel like cars, I'm not on board with um with those being automated. But trains definitely. I think I would still be too scared of planes, though. I think I think I'd still be too scared of planes. What up, Miles? If only the Switch could run games at 60 it, FPS. It won't open. I guess that's obvious. When the Switch could play games, period. This is the front car. The nose of the train is just beyond it. If it opened, I could fall off. Okay, we got more detective points. It's a map of the train. <clears throat> The first and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. What's the premise? I don't know, we just started. Looks like it's gonna be some like detective type game though. But that's all I really know. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. There's no one inside it right now. Okay. I can see my reflection in this perfectly polished mirror. I'm still not used to it. Is that really my face? Hmm, I'm sensing a little bit of a twist. The restroom window looks fixed in place, so it can't be opened. Type beat. I don't see any of the detectives through the window. Time to move on. Excuse me. Anyone here? I guess there's no one here. Man, you can't sprint. Come on, little jit. All right, we have the infirmary. Clean looking bed. This is probably the infirmary. It's locked, but there's no one inside. I feel like this is going to be a stream game I get attached to and you never stream it again. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I guess I'll look around this car a little more. It might have to be a crackhead game. It says main control room B. The door is locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. There's a machine, but it's not on. That's how I feel with Strikers. I played Strikers yesterday. Driver's seat's on both sides of the train. I'm uploading the next Strikers part tomorrow. Oh. I what up, Ninja? Like a real detective there. I need you to finish it. Huh? It's probably going to depend on how well it does on YouTube. Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the I think door. if it gets like a thousand views, I'll I'll continue it. Oh, whoa, they look so cool. Wait, they look cool as fuck. So edgy. That's my goat right there. I can tell you that. 
those hell divers videos are great i'm glad you enjoyed them they don't really do well on youtube but i think they're fun so i upload them excuse me are you with the world detective organization you are right you're master detectives aren't you We yeah, this is by the Danganronpa developers. But who are you? Oh. Um, I'm Who's the fur boy? I think I'm also a master detective of the World Detective Organization. Chat, I don't want to alarm anybody, but we're only five subs away from 30. A boy like you? Master detective of the WDO? Damn, shorty tall as hell. It seems like it. Seems like it. Like hell, dumbass. Huh? A runt like you, a master detective? You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. Does he? <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Maybe I smoke dick, but. You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You want to die right Bro, here? Bro, I'm wearing right the now? same clothes as y'all. I'm clearly one of y'all. We from what? the same gang. Please hear me out. Oh, right. Uh, I have proof that I'm a master detective. A letter from the World Detective Organization? It's real. There's no mistake about it. What? Are you serious? Yeah, what now? Looks Eat your like words, bitch. Behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. What do you mean? Yes, thank you. But there's really not much to explain. Yeah, I was about to say, what the fuck do you want me to say? So I woke up in the lost and found, and now I'm here. That's all. And that's what happened. Amnesia. Looks that way. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. Hmm. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am so I? Everybody knows each other, but nobody knows him, right? Okay. That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. That's also true. I was thinking that as well. Why do you suspect me? There is a reason why. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? <laughs> Bro, no. <laughs> um, I do not. A little bit? I think I remember a little. Or Guess not. Oops. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Yes, sorry. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Very well, I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Uh, thank you. Okay. Well, I mean, we gotta talk to everybody, chat. You feel me? We can't just, you know? Oh, okay. Not a man of many words, are you? What? <laughs> um, can somebody fucking talk to me, please? Oh. What is it? Um, hello? Um, right. If you like the Danganronpa games, you'll probably like this one. I do like the Danganronpa oh. games. Um, okay. But I feel like I, know, I feel like the Chucky doll or something. I feel so small and like I feel like I walk like like Chucky walks in the movies, dog. <laughs> Listen up. The World Detective Organization is. What up, Wondering Lotus? An extra legal, extra privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mystery. I got an unsolved mystery. Who the fuck is my Their dad? Branches exist throughout and why did he leave me at a very young Their age? Investigations are handled by master detectives. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WD. Oh, shit. All have powers specializing in it. Yeah, the first Danganronpa playthrough is so powers. special. They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. People who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading. Oh, they train at they the literally have powers to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed. 
So everybody here has a, ma a forte. A master detective, it should say so on your license. Detective. Ah. It's an identification card. Check your pockets. I don't have one. If you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you got one, I suspect it's fake anyway. Oh, hold on, I'm not trying to trick anyone. Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? Mm, apply that pressure. If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Right? The hell did you just say? She's right. Can that guy sit down, bro? You're everyone doing too here much. Has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Huh? First time? So you guys. Uh, I did think they knew each other at first, but master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. I see. Hey, this should must well, be a pretty important let's start case. The introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. What? Hopefully my you faves don't get do murdered like in Dangan. I fear they do? might. It's but we'll see. for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. All the more reason due to this perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Now, let's begin. Okay, can you start by explaining why the fuck you have cat ears? Okay, so these are the notebook menus. Use whatever you gotta to get the job done. And profiles, information about characters can be Why viewed. Your brain? Ooh, you have likes and dislikes. <laughs> it says dislikes amnesia. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense. 150 centimeters. What the fuck is a centimeter? Chat, someone explain that shit. How tall is he? Sounds like he's short as hell, though. Oh, so we can hit the save button? What does the save data look like? He's short, short? That does sound short. I am Zange Eraser. Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. Hey, Zange Eraser. He looks cool. That's 5-3? Oof. Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening stream. That's how I live my life. My forte is photography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. Oh, shit. That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. Is that all? Doesn't seem like he'll say anything else. All right, say that. All right, next up is you, loud and rambunctious I'm motherfucker. Logan. I'm from the detective branch in the eastern slums. Apex Logan. Not a normal ass name, Logan, bruh. They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke illegal immigrant. Oh, <laughs> okay. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open right in front of me. Oh. That's awful. Well, that doesn't sound too pleasant. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. 
I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until Okay, what's now. your forte, bro? Thanks to luck. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. I can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. You too, bro. If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. Kill or be killed is my motto. Nah, yeah, I think you're a very healthy, well-adjusted person. But that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness within him. He's just like me, Chad. We're depressed. Just know it's kind of like radar. That's all you're going to tell us? Hmm. You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? Not at all. You sure are a frail looking Man, let me play as a Giga Chat in one of these games. Like, I'm not about to get pressed by some dude named Apex Logan. Got its claws on you. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? No way. <laughs> Good thing Yuma Coco head sounded so convincing. How about a little training? The fuck does that mean? Get used to stab wounds. Huh? Start with an ice pick. What? Scissors. Knife. Um, no thanks. Don't be shy, runt. No, really, I'm fine. I see how you do a bullet wounds, then, bitch. Too bad. Uh, okay. Well, my turn is over. Or did you want me to train you after all? Okay, let's see what up with Cat Boy. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce <sighs> myself. I am Zilch Alexander. I definitely did not talk to him first, so. <laughs> Bro's name is Zilch. Um, what are his eyes? I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me. <clears throat> Nature's mediator. Okay. I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. What does that I've mean? Heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake. Um. Rumor has it that one by one. Everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. Uh, uh, it was a once in a century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. That makes sense. The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. They all kept their lips sewn shut. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Getting 52 people to, like, be down for the same thing type shit, that is pretty impressive. I'll let you figure out what that Like, nobody's, nobody cracked until this when little cat boy came through? man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator... He does look like a good Chad, detective. if you were a detective, what would your force be? He suspected me. He still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. So does this hat just have well, automating ears well. moving? I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigation. You can always find the remote. That's actually a pretty good one. Emergency. My forte is animal investigation. I can control the animals as I wish and recruit them from my inquiry. What? Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I Wait, am. Wait, that's actually a really cool power. Yo, Bleak, thank you for the six months. Chat, I don't want to alarm anybody, but we're only four subs away from 30. Though useful in many ways, I'm Seduction. Able to gather intel. Right. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. I often use mice. 
They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. If you could control one animal type shit like that, which animal would you control? There aren't any mice on this train. I think the mice one is a good answer. Is he a good detective? But he also has those powers. He really is impressive. Why would you want to be a or control an emu? With love, I yield to the next person. Yo, she is mad fucking tall, mama. Like, hello? Hey, young man. Mm, me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. Ooh, why? Oh, what? Uh, whoa. Huh? Um. What's going on? I'm measuring you. Right. Uh, um. <laughs> Stay still for just a second. I'll be quick. Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. My name is Melamy Goldmine. Melamie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Uh, Wait, is she a rich a girl? Detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Oh, she be talking to ghosts and shit. Oh, she be talking to ghosts and shit, y'all. Melamy Goldmine. A medium? I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Probably not. Yes, of course. I mean, probably but not. Why would you ever ask that, dumbass? I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. What? Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me. Or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size Wait, must match. That power fucking sucks. You what the fuck? Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy reeking clothes what? are always out of the question. I guess if she didn't have those stipulations, she would just be overpowered. That sounds more like a preference than a condition. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood, like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Consider that when compared to bare skin, clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Not unless you're wearing the right shit. Type shit, chat. Clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Wait, she kind of shitting. Now that you mention it. Anytime you think about ghosts, you never think about them with their cocks out. That's kind of real. That's why. Unless you're a freak bull, amnesia, then maybe you do. I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a master detective? Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective, Melanie. Nice to meet you all. All right. Nice to meet you, Melamy. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance, young man. An introduction. Introduce myself. You got amnesia too? A subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Uh, All right, chat. Okay? If you had to introduce yourself right now, and tell somebody like something to, something to like get to know you, right? What would it be? Like like something like, like you know, what do you do type shit? Like 
You feel me? Like, if you had to sum yourself up in a sentence, what you're hitting on? Six five muscle cock. What? I can touch my toes. Music taste mate. Well, what is your music taste? Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I rarely have a need to do so. So I, I chat my bra's coming off. I'm turning off my camera. After all, is there such a thing as a I watch Omega Pro. That's a good one. All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself Poochie Lavman. What? Poochie Lavman. Six four peanut butter complexion. So I'm boring. Poochie, then. There's gotta be something Poochie interesting Poochie about is. you. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for Oh, here she go, bro. Nothing more. Names are but meaningless, faces. The same purpose as a detective deed. Or so I, Poochie, believe. She seems a bit odd. Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. If you could rename yourself and, and choose any name in the world, Depending like what would you change your name to, Chet? My forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. My forte is known as audio aptitude. Ooh, audio? When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. Ooh, that's a good one. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Poochie, am around. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Oh, I see. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. Mm. Being blessed with powers sure comes at a price. Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. Um, this part of her seems a bit more normal. Right. Right. Okay. <clears throat> well, that just happened. Lastly, it's your turn. I don't know why, but when I was younger, I really like wanted my name to be Maximilian for some reason. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master, what up, Suki? Then you should have some sort of forte. I have no idea. Oh. Young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Or brands you like? You only inquired about clothing. I Maybe really like the name Bartholomew when I was younger. Dead. What the fuck? Really? Hold on. Apex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. Yeah, Aphex, dumbass. The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. That's right. I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well, something unexpected has occurred on our trip. Oh? The number of people is off. 
What? Somebody's the dead? Number of people? Chat, somebody's uh, dead. Hoochie heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... Oh shit, chat, lock in. Precisely five. Wait, how many are here? Five? One, two, three. One. Wait, is there six? Two, seven? Seven? Three. Five, four, six, seven, five, eight, two. Five. There's, there's six. Six? There's Somebody's six. an imposter! I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Wait, there's yes, an imposter when among you us. Yourself a master detective. I was honestly surprised. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. <laughs> this is getting exciting. Chat, who do we think it's it is? It's him. On. It's Apex. Apex. I put my life us. on it. He said Among Us chat. He said it. Not me. It's Apex. I All my kids. Think? All my kids. It's Apex. How about we contact the WDO and find Please out? don't let it be my mommy. Anybody but my mommy, it's Melamy. No I can't reach them. There's no signal here. <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? It's obvious. I'm the most suspicious. Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. It's not you, right. Yuma! I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak. I'll allow it. I'll allow it? Why would I need your permission? I was about to say. Whatever. Whatever. The way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Whoa, he's sticking up for me? Huh? Wait a minute. It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. The runt must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. Remember, chat. The the person that's guilty is the one that you most medium expect. So it can't be the one you most least expect, right? And it can't be the one you most suspect. It's the one you most medium suspect. Hmm. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack you? To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. The plan was going smoothly. But why would they do the that? Suddenly woke up. What is their got motive? On the train right before it departed. The results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The run's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. And I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Why, thank you. In other words, I was knocked out at the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. Excuse me. My deduction is oh. slightly different. Let's hear it. All right, what does she I got, chat? It. There were six Stop beds, like though. Ooh, permission. wait, what is there? I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the World Detective Organization. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member Ooh. and is ascertaining our skills here. Oh, I'm so interested already. I'm so locked in. Here could possibly be the exam officer. Me? An exam officer? Oh, this is really interesting. I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got. What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Like this. What the? Let's go. What the? Oh, he does have radar. He did say his his forte was radar like. Nice. What was that? A weird 
feeling overcame my whole body. No signs of the enemy. <laughs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Oh. Um, what did you do? I, I just want to know what he's wearing. That's a crazy choice, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? True. We're never going to get anywhere if you start doubting everything. Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. In that Making case, thumbnails for this game is gonna suck. Because I really don't want to like spoil myself if I look something up. Um. What? You want me to search again? What's the point of that? I really like how much voice acting there is in this game. I feel like. That was a big thing about the original Danganronpa series that a lot of people didn't like was how much you had to read, which honestly, I don't mind doing the reading thing. In fact, in some cases, I kind of prefer it because I can read it at my own pace. It's when it comes to like streaming a game that I would prefer it to have its own voice acting. Me, when this bangs on YouTube, so Omega streams this game again, I promise you this video is getting 200 views. Like, I'm sorry. I would be willing to put my life on the line. I got yelled at. Because, like, one thing that I've noticed me doing when I'm playing, like, I've been playing a lot of 13 Sentinels recently. And once I already read the dialogue, I just skip anyway so I don't hear the voice acting. Just because, like, the voice acting takes up too much time. Unless it's, like, unless it's a more important scene, then I obviously let it play out or something. But for the most part, like, I just think it wastes a lot of time. Um, Poochie, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. <clears throat> I, Poochie, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Should Honestly, her, her forte... Yes, Sounds please. horrible to live with. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Uh huh? Uh oh. Shut up, you brain dead. Idiots. Oh, what, ma'am? Who do you think you are? I think I'm gonna move the chat to the top left now that my camera's gone. Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? Oh, I she's schizo. Concentrate. She know better than me, I fear. That's me on the toilet when I'm constipated like shit. <laughs> Bro, it'd be crazy when you're constipated and you're squeezing and squeezing, about to pass out, and then all you get is a little fucking pebble that come out. Like, bro, all that? For a drop of power type this shit? Sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? Ooh, interesting. I, I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of I wonder if his forte lets him like lets him like feel other people's fortes or something because he felt the thing that Aphex did and then was also able to hear what Poochie heard so I wonder if his thing is kind of like that yeah like a copy forte type of thing yeah 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 well, that's that would be interesting though one could hold their breath they still cannot stop their heart from beating I can but I'm In just other different words, 
There's no one else on this train. I, Pucci, guarantee it. See? I told you so. Sorry for calling you gloomier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... Aren't our powers kind of the same? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. Shit! Hold on now. How long is 500 meters in feet? 500 meters is equivalent to 1,640 feet. Holy shit! How far is that in miles? 500 meters is equal to 0 0.311. Almost half a mile. Dude, that's almost half a mile. Holy fuck. That's crazy. So you're the useless one. Damn! Bitch. Damn! <laughs> he, she cooked your shit. Moving on. We've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them, an imposter? Mm. But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. And he felt it, so he knows I they're not the imposter. Feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. Right. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. So that's your forte, I guess. Why am I the only one? That's kind of a lame forte. <laughs> Uh oh what's wrong with you old man you gone senile or something can you all hear that you can like come on iphones or something sounds right sounds of a running train the wheels of fate chugging along in the same way our fate continues to turn this train will press on until we reach our destination no one can get off midway including the uninvited sixth Let's discover which of us is the caged bird. Oh, I'm here. so locked in, chat. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet, we don't know who the fake one is. Is that my boy Ocelot? Now Hold on now. Power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without mm, them, that is convenient. Music. So you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Hmm. Without a dead body, I can't use my power. I'll let you me. kill me. My bad. How about what if? What if they're all master detectives? And that's not what the actual twist is, right? What if the actual twist is that they're all valid master detectives, but one of them is a bad actor type, or not a bad actor, but like one of them is like evil champ. Mmm, shit. Chat. Turn me up in my headphones. We playing Rain Code? Yes, sir. Now Have you played this before, Wokon? How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. Oh, that's true. Yo, that's what I just said. Wait a minute. There's no end to this. Yeah, I love these games. Everybody line up. I'll deck you one by one. What is that going to prove? Got it? The what? real deal. If you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter. It's kind of fucking stupid. Calm down. 
Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposters. Yup, yeah, that's okay. smart. That's smart. Why would they even want to? Mm, the motive. Like, what, what do they get for having a bunch of master detectives in one train area and then infiltrating that train area, right? Like, what do they get for that? Or what if the the order they got from the Detective World Order, whatever the fuck it's called, is like, what if that wasn't even a real order? What if that was like the imposter getting them all here for their own ulterior motive? But then why would they want to bring them here? Hmm... One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective that is, Organization. Are there any That's others? a possibility. There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. For the hundredth time, why would we need your permission? Yeah, I think I'm going to upload this on YouTube. This is going to get like 35 views on YouTube, but I don't care. This is cool as fuck. I'm locked in, chat. The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. Oh? And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. Oh. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear. What? At last, they revealed themselves. Hold can on. I see? Did you just my bad. Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my oh. own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. I'm always down for some business corruption. Which is why down with capitalism. Our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. Ooh, okay, okay. The spy has only one goal: to disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hmm. So hmm, that's interesting. So we know that we got all of us here got assigned to Kanai Ward. If there's going to be six master detectives, or I guess five master detectives, that all got assigned to Kanai Ward, it's got to be for a big case. So the imposter would want to impede that case by any means necessary. And if it was a big corporation that was getting investigated, I could see why they would want to impede that. Okay. That's why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? I'm glad you asked. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You gotta explain that too. It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. Ooh. Okay. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. Like Shinra. You see their product. Wait, yeah, everywhere. I guess like Shinra. <laughs> I thought that was Midgar. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Okay, sure. <laughs> they make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, and pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, with their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. Mm. That's a I that I thought that, that was the Shinra building. Funny, huh? Sure, I got it. Thanks. <laughs> okay, what about Kanai Ward? Or Kanai Ward? Kanai Ward? What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? 
It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just Yeah, I think that was definitely city. like a, a Shinra reference. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. <clears throat> Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, mm. Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Right. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, master detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. Hmm, okay. I see. Thank you very much. I really wonder what the imposter has to gain here, man. Like, what are they trying to do? This train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. Mm -hmm. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival <clears> at Kanai Ward. <throat> Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. Mm. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. Okay, I'm starting to suspect Amaterasu a Corporation a little more now. Persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. Yeah. Good night, Rain. The windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. That's very we sus. Say for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big moving coffin. Yeah. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be open. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? Good night, Babakar. You can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't uh. open. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels Ooh, that like lip the first time <laughs> any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. What up, big facts? Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Did I just hear what somebody was thinking? Oh no, it's the ghost. The little ghost thing, right? Finally hit purple rank in second. Oh shit, nice, congrats. Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. I like coffee. Dude, I fucking, I actually love coffee. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? I need milk, Probably mama. My bad. Milk. Um, no, I mean, I'll, oh, I take it black. Anyway. Oh, wait, um, I can't tell yum. The way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. Wait, she's giving me mommy vibes. What is going Thank on? You. earlier am i hearing things i have 
amnesia, and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Hmm. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? That's a good question. Who is the most suspicious? I want to say him, low key. I no, I still think it's Yuma. Either Yuma or Zange. You think Malam or Melanie is? I don't know who who to say here. Zange or Yuma? I got money on Zilch. We're gonna say Zange. See what happens. Zange doesn't want to talk about himself. Is he staying quiet to avoid drawing attention? Hmm. Could he be the imposter? I don't know anything about his powers, so the most suspicious. like if you were to look at this objectively. No how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. Yuma is the most if sussy. I really am a master detective. I could have some useful powers. But then again, we don't know who is lying about what. We know Poochie and the other dude are at the very least master detectives, right? But there's always the possibility that we're all master detectives, but one of us is has ulterior motives, right? That's always a possibility. So I don't think we should harp too much on who is a master detective and rather who seems like they have ulterior motives or like or what we i think the thing the thing that makes this hard to like sort of justify or talk about type is like we don't know what the motive is right like what is the point of joining these master detectives to kanai ward right like that's the biggest I question mark if I can somehow remember what those powers were remembering now won't do any good it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, I don't think it's a test. Happening to me? And that would be too convenient. Hey, but maybe it is. Who knows? Uh huh. Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. Oh. What? Uh, Zange? Although I am reluctant to do so. I shall demonstrate my forte. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. So all What's this that? is going to leave it's are so two hard. people who literally cannot show off their forte. fuck does that mean what did he do again i can feel zonga using his forte as i've said before my power is photography he I takes a picture of his thoughts pretty much onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage the recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago i suppose it's faster to simply show you Oh, that's cool. That took place about five minutes ago. I can only so see it from my like, kids' perspective. Three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. Oh, so the recorded footage doesn't the last forever. Is that it lasts around forty-eight hours. <clears throat> but by copying it to another device before it fades. Footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Pardon me, but oh, this are you is cool. sure this is photography? 
It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. Ooh, that's a good point, Zilch. What if that eye patch is a camera? You think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. Who are you? I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. <laughs> the voices. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Young man, are you all right? Me when the bean kicked in. Don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car three and beyond are all full, so you should use car one at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Hmm. Oh. Will you be all right on your own? Uh. Oh, I was reading that. Right. Come on, Runt. You look like you're about to collapse. Go and rest up in the infirmary. S sorry. I don't think there's going to be anything new here. Damn. Why am I walking like this? Damn. I'm zooted type shit. Right. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the man off the shit, it's not real. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wait. Okay. It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The Where's the key? Oops. Is it some. God I damn see, it. I see. Oh. If an area of the mini map is shining, that means a destination or investigate objective is nearby. Let's take a closer look around. Say that. Okay, so it's shining. It's gotta be somewhere around here. And we already investigated this, the control room. It's not here. <laughs> By the nine, I am tweaking, my boy. All right. This is classic Danganronpa writing. When he returns to the group, someone is gonna be dead. Ooh, do you think so? It opened. I know I shouldn't have ate that Chipotle past 5 p.m. Ew, on the bathroom floor? Hey. Need whatever he took. It's time to what get the up. hell? Not him drooling. Huh? So you can finally see cute little me. Um. <laughs> it's all taking root. I went to Chipotle at 3.30 p.m. on Friday and I'm still feeling the effects. 
Yeah, I feel like Chipotle is perfect, like, around lunchtime. Anytime, like, after 2 p.m., it feels like. I don't know, bro. It feels like Chipotle just becomes a, a nuke. What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Well, aren't you rude? That was pretty rude. Talking. Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too. I've completely lost it. Snap out of it. You're my master, aren't you? Huh? I am? Master. That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between um, us. Um, what? Huh? What pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately What are you saying? <gasps> how cold of you. <laughs> After I offered myself to you and you alone. Um, right. You're so irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kitty, of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. Oh, nice. You don't get a death god for free, you know. A death you god? Eat. You gotta bring something to the table. Wait, what did you just say? A death god? Call me Shinigami. Yo, if that's what Shinigami look like, bro, is a... Uh... What the hell is happening? No way. Death God sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know. I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. Right. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good answer, Master. You keep calling me Master. Wait, are you haunting me? Please call me Shinigami. Shinigami. Um. Yep, yep. Of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. Um, can you not haunt me? That was your wish, after all. Never mind, it was apparently my wish. That's what I wanted? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. Uh, what is it? You mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. Oh. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. To get it to get you? Well, what are you even good for? The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. I'm so confused. What is going on? Oh. Which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Why not? Tell me. No can do. That's the contract. By the okay. way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Oh, shit. Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? But during that time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. Speaking of, why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so... I was looking for the key to the infirmary. Chad, do you think somebody died? You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Hey, 
Wait, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't let it be my baby girl. Hmm. What if the coffee made him hmm? sick? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, hold on now. I like that. I like that. I like that. But to be fair though, when I drink coffee, I gotta shit immediately. I know that ain't just me. Uh, it's the door to a private room. It's not locked and there doesn't seem to be anyone inside. You, you sure you don't want to open it up to check? Maybe a homicidal maniac is hiding in there. Uh, There's no way. Dude, we were knocked out on this bathroom floor for two hours and nobody checked on us. Nah, something happened, chat. Oh no. Who's dead? Smoke? What? What's going on? It's me! How hysterical! What? Weren't you watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. All I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. Um... So what happened here? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Right! Is there a fire? Fire? Somebody started a so fire? It's burning? Ah, now I'm getting excited! What up, Limbosity? Excited? We have to do something! Oh, no. The fire extinguisher here. What's going on? <gasps> oh, he's got a knife in him. Filch, please, Cat boy died. Filch. There's too much smoke. I, I gotta help. Master, look. <gasps> All right. Oh, sh hurry. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, fuck. No, I think I think. Okay, I think Mombi is the biggest suspect. Oh my god. Why? I think she did give us that coffee and that fucked us up and made us pass out. And then she did this. She is 100% my, my, my biggest suspect right now. Why did this happen? Oh, fuck. There's no time to rest. If you're a detective, you know what to do. Huh? Search the body. You need to confirm if someone is really dead by checking the body. I think he's fucking dead. <laughs> Maybe I should ask for help. I think it's pretty safe to say the motherfucker's dead. Run from a corpse. I don't know that I'm a detective. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain it another time. But since you've forgotten, I'll be your mentor and train you to be a proper detective. Okay. So get to it. I'm really doing this. Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. <sighs> All right, chat, we got to lock in. Investigation. Time to investigate. It's completely charred. No movement. No breathing either. I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. A knife is still lodged in the chest. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. Well... How's our Armin? Doing? No way. 
dead without a doubt. Well, didn't Apex literally say Do you want to get stabbed type shit? I agree, Yagami. I think the knife is there as a red herring. I think they planted the knife to cause uh because that one dude was talking about stabbing and shit. I don't think I don't think he had anything to do with it. It's not that. I mean, if I'd noticed sooner. You think you could have saved a life? Forget about it. If you're so worried, try CPR. Though you'll be tasting soot doing that to such a turd court. Ew. What's dead is dead. Never let that get you down. Right. I have to tell the others about this. Mm, I smell it. <laughs> Zilch, how could this happen? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to act shocked. Don't you have to let the others know? Right. We'd better hurry. We gotta investigate everything, chat. Okay, we got the fire extinguisher. This is the fire extinguisher I used is on the floor. Looks like it's mostly empty now. Master. You opened the lock and put out the fire. That was some quick thinking, Master. And now you can check out the corpse up close and personal. Yeah. This is medical equipment from the infirmary. I don't know how to use it. Even if you did know how to use it, there's no saving someone that crispy. The guy was charred black before you even got into the room. <laughs> it's the AED from the infirmary. Using this on Zilch now probably won't help. Well? You want us to, or you want to use it on that human charcoal? If he did come back to life, he wouldn't be happy about it. Yo, this little thing is kind of a cunt. Also a little annoying. I mean, it is a Shinigami, I guess. Um, guys, does anybody smell the burnt? Is that a dead body on the ground? Huh? Oh my god. Is that my mama? So it wasn't her. Right. Um, right. What is going on, chat? Is this a dream? Has to be a dream, right? What is happening? A nightmare. <laughs> Please, I want to wake up. I can't take this anymore. You're so pitiful, you know that? Are you sure you're the guy who sold your soul to me? What are you anyway? Friend or foe? Your friend, of course. After all, you're my master. Hmm. Isn't that nice? I'm your friend and I'll be haunting you till death do us part. I don't get it! Why would I make a contract with the death god? Wait, do they even really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. Shut your trap! You memoryless, courageless, brainless detective! Hey, yo, W Press? This is a nightmare to you, then you gotta use all you got! But what can I even do? That's why I'll be your teacher and mentor. I'll make you a proper detective yet. Just listen to me and everything will be A-OK. -okay. First, check the scene of the crime like you did earlier. Now stand up. Come on. Um, OK. It's Melanie, all right. She's completely burnt to a crisp, but I recognize what parts are left of her face. There's no pulse or breath. No doubt she's been dead for a while. Hmm. There's a bottle of liquor nearby. Maybe that was used to start the fire. You found two corpses back to back? You sure are reeling them in! Talk about beginner's luck. Her eyelashes stayed on despite the burning, though. Kind of interesting. So, what's the cause of death? Huh? Oh, um, there aren't any obvious external wounds. So she burned to death. The other one also got incinerated. Such a cruel way to die. 
Or maybe they got incinerated to hide the real cause of death. There are empty liquor bottles around. All of them apparently had high alcohol content. Could Melamy have been set on fire with this? <laughs> alcohol is the best way to cook the stench out of meat, after all. <laughs> what a rich fragrance. How about a taste, Master? Um, chat. Oh no, what is happening? No, what is going on? That was supposed to be my mama. There are a bunch of liquor bottles on the shelf. Could they have been used to set Melamy on fire? Yeah, that's right. She was literally f okay, bro. Um, wait yeah, a fucking minute. Friend. Yo, don't tell me they're all gonna be dead. Huh? Did it just shake? Um. Oh nah. What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. Um, what is happening? Oh, it got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? Right, that's right. Um... Chad, what if I told you I don't know what the fuck is going on? Um, right. Saving. Hey, is anyone there? We need help in the first two cars. Zonge, Fuji. They're all dead, aren't they? Anybody? <sighs> hmm, no response. I smell a tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. Woohoo! One mystery after another. I can't hold back from all this excitement. We have to find the others right away. I'm getting excited here. But why would they all be dead and not me? Yeah, they're all dead. Oh my God. No fucking way. Oh, no way. And that's number three. It's a hat trick or a turkey, right? <laughs> it's beautiful. Master, if you don't want to end up like this, then I really did not think they all would be dead. That is crazy. The train hasn't gotten to the destination yet, and you can't get off halfway. Which means whoever killed these guys is still in the train, right? The killer? But who would do such a thing? You'll find out if you investigate. Oh you no. Oh my god, this is crazy. Gotta make sure you don't get cornered. Yeah. That 3 p.m. Chipotle saved your life, indeed. Is this Poochie's bag? Maybe there's a weapon for self-defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. That's a wash. What up, Bibby? It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so... I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. Why is this happening? Even Poochie. Master, let's move on if you're done here. There's no time to waste. Right. Well, where's Zonge? And Aphex, too. This is... A set of cat earphones. Or headphones. Poochie must have had a lot of headphones. Hmm. She never took off her headphones, even in front of people, right? How rude. Let's not speak ill of the dead. I'm sure she had her reasons. Is everyone gonna really be dead? This is... This big teddy bear might have been Poochie's personal belonging. 
You better be careful, master. It might suddenly start going. <laughs> oh my god! Dang and Ron for reference, everybody! Oh my god! <sighs> it's just a teddy bear, as if something that strange could happen. Oh my god, he doesn't know! <laughs> I got that this reference. She's corpse. I can barely make out what's left of her face. She doesn't appear to have any external wounds. I don't There's get it. And Danganronpa, a murderous teddy bear named Monokuma, like makes kids kill each other. Yep, it's a corpse. Damn. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Darn it. There is one thing I kind of want to do real fast. Um, can you? Yes, I need tech speed up faster. Just slow as a. All right, chat. Next dead body. Let's go. Oh wait, no dead body. What? Whose bag is this? Oh, it's open. Is it okay for me to look inside? You're a detective. Why even ask? Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. Smashing pots to find what they want is part of the job. That's too much. What if you don't search with that goddamn suitcase? World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Zilch Alexander, oh. you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous region of Kanaiwork. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. Uh. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from That's the same world. one we got, huh? This is a letter for Zilch. So, this must be his bag. The only things inside are work documents. Nothing else of note. Ah, that's no fun. Ah, uh, damn it. All of Zilch's things. This is... It's Zilch's clothing yeah. brush. Oh, maybe he was a clean freak? Not that that matters now that he's burned to a crisp. Oh, wow. Um, I did not mean to click that again, I fear. All right, well, dead body in the next cart? This isn't a passenger room. Oh. The sign says backup control room. Wow, it looks like a secret So there's place. two people whose bodies we haven't seen yet. Destroy these whenever you see them. No. There's no one here. So I should go. How about you check Oops. out that machine over there? Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. It's okay. I won't break it. Weren't you on your way to the infirmary before you passed out in the bathroom? I think Zilch died in your place. Hmm. That would be more interesting if there was only one kill target. But seeing as though there's multiple kill targets, I think that the imposter wanted to kill everybody on board and i think that between zange uh, zange and um and apex i think one of them found the other one committing the crimes and wanted to go stop them and i think we're gonna probably walk in on them in an altercation and then we're gonna have to try to find out which one of them is guilty that's what i think is gonna happen Okay, we got a route map. This is the train map. The shining part must be the train's current location. After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Kanai Ward in no time. It's been a long trip, but I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a certain napping detective. 
Um, right. <clears throat> What's this machine? There appears to be instructions. Backup control system? Okay. So the control oh, I was system manages reading that. the electricity. Yeah. This one is the backup, not the main one. Hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. Uh huh. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Oh? Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. I guess everything here relies on that control system. So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. Right now, the control system is functioning, so the train is still moving with no issues. The monitor displays an operation log, but there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah. Master, while you were sleeping like a log, I never sensed the train stopping either. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. No one can get on or off while it's en route. Mm. Huh? What's wrong, Master? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system. Didn't we lose all. power, though? Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. What if the killer already got off the train? Because you're bored? Because we did, like, lose power, right? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. This looks like some kind of control device. It might be dangerous, so I shouldn't touch right. it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to press the wrong button and cause the train to derail. Ooh, an intercom. Oh, there's an intercom. In an emergency, press this button and speak into the yeah. receiver. And now I'll report this to control headquarters and call for help. <sighs> it won't connect. Why? If it doesn't connect during an emergency, it's totally useless. For real. If this system was completely automated, a report should have been sent to control headquarters about the fire. Maybe everyone in control headquarters is already dead and you're the last living human in the world don't dang and romp with me bro what a horrible thing to say all right let's move in on the end, there weren't any survivors in this train car you better go check the next one yeah you're right let's go to the next one um please nobody else be dead I don't think I'd like that very much. Um, is anyone there? <sighs> no answer again. Oh no. I don't like this. There's nothing here. I don't see luggage or anything else. If each person gets their own room, then someone got nothing, right? Uh-huh. It can't be. Yeah, it's nothing. Tissues. This is... There are a lot of tissues on the table. Maybe he can't turn down free samples when people hand them out? <laughs> so many reasons why someone to keep tissues next to the bed. Oh, you a freak bull. What are you implying, Shinigami? Oh yeah, you a freak bull. Hmm? There are magazines scattered on the desk. There's a pro wrestling magazine. What are the hot angles these days? I don't think it has anything to do with the case. Let's look somewhere else. Okay, we got a jacket. Uh, Who does this jacket belong to? It looks like something Aphex would wear. Safe. Did you check the pockets? There's nothing inside. Hmm. If we don't know who it belongs to, it doesn't make a very good clue. So is that it over here? I think that is. 
All right. Chat, hold on to your asshole. Uh oh, dead body. No way. No way, Zongi. Apex is the only one unaccounted for. It was Apex? What? Do you think this is funny because you're a death god? No. I think it's awesome! My heart's fluttering with joy! Each death takes the mystery even deeper! So mysterious! Right. This is all wrong. It's in the bag. This looks like Sangi's bag. There's nothing inside that matters. Okay, notebook and fountain pen. This is. These might belong to Zange. They look well used, so they could be really old. Why don't you look inside the notebook? There might be something about the case. It seems to be records of past cases he handled, but there isn't any information about this current case. Dead corpse on the bed and you raiding his bag first. Cause I'm always about this bag. Sunday. he's burnt to a crisp. I can just barely discern his face though. I can't find any particular external wounds, just like the other corpses. He was also incinerated in a burning blanket, like Zilich in the first car and Poochie in the third one. All three of them were sleeping in bed and murdered by immolation? Oh, what's this? Zange's cell phone. Oh, his tautography! His tautography! Wait! Yeah, just a video of me drinking coffee. It can't help me solve this mess. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. But mamas, the tall mamas with the long legs, she was the only one that wasn't murdered while she was in bed with the burning blanket. Huh. That's four of them. Who could have done this? <gasps> Wait. There are just six people on the train, including myself, and I found four bodies. Zilch, Melanie, Pucci, and Zange. The only one left is Apex. Took you long enough. I knew from the very start. Right. You still need work, Master. I'll be sure to train you well. So Apex is the culprit? He murdered the others in such a deranged way? He's got a short fuse, so maybe it was a crime of passion. He probably lied about being a master detective. No, we felt his thing. No, he's he's a master definitely detective master detective. Sure. I sensed him use his powers. You sensed it? Hmm. But if he betrayed the WDO and became an Amaterasu Corporation spy, it's reasonable to conclude he killed the other master detectives to sabotage- But why are you still alive? You were passed out for two hours. Time to boom kill that psycho. You were totally about to say that, right, master? Not at all. If he finds me, I'm done for. I'm actually surprised you haven't died yet. It's from the you same developers as Danganronpa. I won't deny it. I probably got overlooked. I was supposed to be in the infirmary in the first car, but I passed out in the restroom, right? Maybe that's why the killer didn't find me. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. Huh? What's up? Master, I told you that while you were passed out, no one came to the restroom. But one time, the door did open. What? By the time I noticed, the door closed again. I don't know who was there. Now that I think about it, could it have been that guy with the short... Why wouldn't he kill me right then and there, though? So, he let me go? Why? Hmm. Maybe 
Maybe he thought you weren't even worth killing. You're an incompetent guy with amnesia. Or maybe he was gonna try to pin it all on you. Just a fact. I know. Now that we know who the culprit is, we have to find him before the train arrives. Find him and do what? Catch him, of course. And it's all up to you, Master. That's impossible. It's fine. There's no time to waste. Nothing's fine about it. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh? Oh, these are her clothes and stuff. It's a woman's travel bag. There's a name here. Melanie Goldmine. It looks like makeup and travel supplies. Nothing noteworthy. Surely hey, Apex ain't dead, right? Someone's hiding nearby? Yeah. No one's here. You sure? If he's dead, that's gonna throw a big wrench in the plan. Even a child couldn't hide in there. You don't know that. You're up against a master detective, remember? What if there's a master detective who has the appearance of a child but the mind of an adult? Of course there isn't. You sure about that? I think there's totally a detective like that oh. out there. That's a reference. Isn't that Detective Conan? This is. These are women's clothes on the bed. I wonder if they belong to Melamy. Yeah, that's right. Those are some flashy threads. She definitely gets some looks in the city. But now she's all burned up. Guess she won't be wearing it anymore. <laughs> oh my god. This little jit is gonna piss me off, I fear. This is... There's a pouch with cosmetics on the desk. This must belong to Melanie. But she'll never use it again. Well? You shouldn't apply makeup to fresh burns after all. Oh my god. At least, like, Monokuma isn't annoying because you don't have to deal with Monokuma, like, the whole fucking game. If this little jit is gonna chime in every once in a while, like, pack watch, like, Jesus. What's going on, chat? Um, um, chat room. It got brighter. Guess we made it through the tunnel. Mm. Which means we're almost there. At this rate, you'll let the murderer escape. More shaking? What is it this time? Master, you gotta hurry! The next train car is the fifth one. This train has five cars in total, so this is the last one. Oh, but... But you can't access the fifth car. The one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. The door was supposed to be broken, right? Who is she? Uh, she's burned to a crisp. Master, you better hurry! Hey, it opened. Was it repaired? <laughs> um, what's going on? It's been wrecked. What happened here? Master, look over there! No way! No way. No way. There can't be a, a fifth course. What is going on? Because that would mean everybody except me is dead. So mysterious. Even Did I'm I getting confused did now. Chat. Was it? Anyway, time to investigate. Was it me, boy? Did I do this? What? This isn't a fake. It's a real corpse, isn't it? Okay, here's the thing, though. This doesn't have any identifying factors. You know what I mean? Like, all the other bodies, they were easily identifiable except this one. This one could be, like, literally anybody. 
is this game fire? It's pretty good so far. It's very dang and romp coded because it's made by the same devs, obviously. Without a single doubt, the bona fide remains of a human. I'm positive about that. I specialize in corpses after all. But I'll where could they? Here's the thing, though. Where could they have possibly gotten another person from? Because, um, Shorty, like, went to like listen for the heartbeats. Unless they brought a dead body with them on the train. You know, I don't know. No, he's completely dead. Huh? His necklace looks familiar. Wait, it's the same one Aphex was wearing. Looking at the body type of the corpse matches the guy with the short fuse. His face is burns beyond recognition, but hmm. could this really be Aphex? You might find it unbelievable, but it seems like it. So his cause of death was also fire? Yeah, I don't see any other external trauma. Wait, there's an injury on his chest. Is that a stab wound? I'm surprised you noticed. Is it a stab wound? It looks like he was pierced with a blade. If that's the case, was he stabbed to death? No, he could have been incapacitated by the stabbing and then burned. It's impossible to determine the cause of death with what we have. Oh? You've gone full throttle in this investigation. Good job! To me, for being your mentor. But why Aphex? But the knife was in Zilch's body. Hmm. Chat. It says main control room B. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Hey, Master, maybe someone's hiding in there. Any way you can bust it open? I don't think so. The door looks too sturdy. Also, I don't think it's possible for someone to be hiding in there. Apex and Pucci both said that there were only six people on the train. Again. Aphex would be able to detect a body even if it was dead, right? But Pucci couldn't. So one of these bodies might be a fake. So including me, there can only be six of us here. Hmm, I see. Oh, why are there two control rooms in a single train car? They probably have control rooms so it can go in either direction. This is the last car for where we're heading, but it'll be the front car on the way back. Oh, well, now that you mention it, there is a control room in the front train car, too. Hmm. It won't open, but this is the last train car. There's nowhere else to go from here. Hmm. It's Aphex's charred corpse. How did this happen? Hey. Aren't you glad his necklace is still on? You wouldn't be able to tell who it is otherwise. Yeah, this is definitely not Aphex. The way they keep bringing that up, there's no way this is Aphex. Wait, yeah, there are. Right. What else did I miss? There are I'm not. I'm not trying to leave. Sure. Yeah, that's right. It says main control room A. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. There are other places to sure. Yeah, that's 
All right, bro. Jesus Christ. Huh? That's weird. This area seems more burnt somehow. Who nutted on the wall? My bad. Maybe there was something flammable in there. See? Look there. There are traces of something that got burned. What is that? Is that some sort of plate displaying the train car number? But why is this the only one completely burnt? It mm. doesn't seem particularly flammable. What could it mean? This is... It's so charred you can't see. Oh my God. Each of the train cars can be used autonomously by themselves. So what if this isn't train car five? What if this is train car six or something? And the other train car detached and escaped? Hmm. That is a possibility. Hmm. So there's things we haven't. Oh, there's a restroom in here. Restroom is in terrible shape. The mirror is cracked and covered in soot. Cause this looks like this was burned a long time ago and burned for like way longer. I don't know. There's no one inside. Hmm. There's something I can still investigate in this area. Cause that thingy is flashing. Another infirmary. Huh. What? Huh? What's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but there's something odd about the latch. Look, there appears to be blood on it. Oh. Huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Let me try to slide it. Oh. That's a blood stain, all right. But why is blood there? It seems the blood got on there while the door was locked. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. Master, we are almost at the station! You have to catch the culprit! Catch who? Everyone besides me is dead! Are you sure it's everyone? Calm down, count again. Silch in car one. Melanie in car two. I think we're still in car one somehow. But I don't know how we ended up looping back around. Poochie in car three. Zonga in car four. I'm pretty sure this is still car one. And Aphex in car five. I think that's Zilch's body. Because it had the knife wound in it. But how did we wake up? Oh my God. No. Let's think about this. How could this be possible? Because Aphex could have pretended to be Zilch. Because we woke up in car one with Zilch's body, went forward and somehow ended up back in car one. How could that be possible? Besides me is dead. I don't that makes you the only possible killer master. Did he do it? No, that's not possible. But I can't say for certain. I lost my memories. Now I'm 
seeing a death god. This is true. Somebody has to still be alive because somebody opened the door to the train car, but we don't know if that was before or after the murders. Wait. No, damn. I'm, I have a, I have so many. Could he also be dead? Hmm. There's something wrong with me. I have no idea what's going on. Are said to reap human souls. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. Maybe subconsciously. We are approaching. Fuck. Please watch your step while exiting the train. No! We didn't get no answers! No way, bro. Is that supposed to happen or did I fail? If we rush out, can we see who else exits? This looks Master, those guys from before are still on the platform. Run to front train car. Oh shit. What is this happening to me? We got framed. Somebody framed us. You might find yourself in a pinch during the course of detective work. Follow the on-screen instructions to get out of those ways quickly. There's a time limit. Oh, so we got QTEs. Bitch. Who are these people? The police? They're not your friends. That much is for sure. Considering the state of the crime scene, they're totally gonna pin it on you. But oh man. Oh. Okay, W fire extinguisher. Bitch. Run. Let him go on, boy. Me? How y'all got your ankles broken like that? Um. Huh. That was an interesting shot they paused on there. Are we really not going to get answers right now? I was hoping we'd get the answer to the first case at least. Oh, no. Did they not find anybody else on the train? Wait, please listen to me. I can explain. Huh. What's that to talk about? You're a master detective of the WDO, aren't you? Wendy's? Name's Swank Katsunel. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation's Peacekeepers. Okay. Nah, chat. This game is fire. Amaterasu this game is fire. Peacekeepers. Don't I might have to make this shit a full oh, playthrough, chat. A I don't know. No detective for crying out loud. Or are you 
some sort of imposter. Like, I am actually so locked in for this fucking game. I think. Maybe I'll try to beat this shit before uh, Rebirth comes out. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, actually really enjoying this. I'll, I'll kill my fucking Switch channel to play this. I don't care. You think? Well, I don't care either way. What's about to happen has already been decided. Which is? The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai Ward. Okay. The unjust wander into my space. They will be eliminated. Eliminated? This game's 35 yeah. hours? I definitely can't beat this before control of <laughs> rebirth. Meaning these people are like the police here. Right. Police? But it's just some company security department. Hey! Who are you talking to? All right, you're the only one who can see me. Thanks to our contract, Master. It's a big cliche at this point, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh, help me. I'll ask again. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talk about suspicious. That here is treacherous. <laughs> Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. We prepared that. Welcome you all here. But an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind this. You're the culprit. Huh? Well, that was direct. Master, try your best to beat him. No, I really don't know anything. Everyone was killed while I was asleep. Wait, is this gonna be like Danganronpa, where there's like a uh, trial type gameplay segment, and then you figure out the truth during that trial segment? I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed them. Oh, hold on, Chad. It might be time to Ooh. lock in. There's the copy and why. What the? What the? We found coffee and wine in the dining car. When we checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drinking. You can see what happened. So the coffee did knock us out. It was the coffee. And Mil but did Milami know that? Wait. Oh my God. Everybody must have drinking coffee or liquor, and that's why they were all in their beds. And that's why they couldn't fight back. Because they all drank that shit and all fucking passed out just like we did. Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed Oh in. shit. Drug? Oh Which shit. Means you drug the other detectives and killed them oh shit down. so we were right about the coffee now, thing he may just be a lowly grunt but he knows his stuff he could be trouble what? but so melamine and quick. apex were just on the floor hmm that is true so did you figure out the cause of death yes they all burned to death huh all of them the cause of death was the burning like that. What's your hmm. is it money or is it money? If it's money, then hand over everything you swipe. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. He just wants money. That's no fair. I'm not the culprit. Yes, you are. You're the culprit. No, wait, that's wrong. No, I... I'm not the perpetrator, but do I know that for sure? In this situation, who else besides me could have done it? There were without a doubt only six people on the train, and five of them were killed. So the only possibility is... Just admit it! I know you're the culprit! What am I supposed to do? Fight back! Admit it now! 
Don't let him win, boy. Am I the killer? Come on, confess! <sighs> Maybe it's better if I confess for The now. biggest question is why frame Yuma? So you could get away with it, probably. I don't think there's a particular reason to frame Yuma. I just think that it's kind of looks convenient to blame it all on him. It could be better to get through this now and get some time to think about it. Why confess if you didn't do it? Master, you're an idiot! Dog will kill you! Huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. There you go again, talking to yourself. That's what that that's why Danganronpa is so fire. That's why I like the the aspect of Danganronpa where like you get key pieces of information during the like uh during like the cross examination segments during the trials or whatever. So that way like you can't figure it out before like way before it happens type shit. I hear your thoughts too. I told you we share the same mind and body. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? Huh? Well, what do you mean? Shut up! Stop talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! <laughs> hey! Bring him down, men! Confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. <laughs> oh, stop with all that pitiful moaning. I'll show you exactly what I'm made of right now. Come on, Master. Use your mind and body, right? Um, what? What the? F what the? F Perhaps I have judged you too harshly. I was really unfamiliar with your game. Perhaps I have unjudged or I've judged you uh, too harshly. <laughs> bro, you see the, the titty jiggle, bro? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't want to alarm anybody, but we're four subs away from 30. If anybody would like to give some subs, that'd be great. That we're almost to 30 subs for the day. Hooray! What's this? What's going on? Who are you? What do you mean? I've been with you the entire time. Wait. You're a lot easier to stomach if you look like this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, right. Guess you can't tell because I'm not puppy anymore. I can only access the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. But some parts of me are still nice and puppy. Uh, touch. Sure, since you're uh, offering, I guess. Okay. Anyway, what's going on? It's like time has stopped. And what's that hole? That hole is connected to the mystery labyrinth. Mystery labyrinth? <laughs> You'll find out when you enter. Come on, let's go! Wait, okay, I'm not even know. mad anymore that I what's bought this the game for 60 labyrinth? and then it went on sale for $40 the Maybe next day. <laughs> this game is actually so fucking fire. <laughs> I see why he gave up his memories. I would have done the same thing. All right, bro. All right, save up. We got to see what this is in on. I'm going to leave this whole thing in for, for this first video here. It's going to be a long ass video. Okay.
We're going to continue. I want answers. I'm not ending until we get all the answers to this first chapter. Um, hello? I like them a lot. <laughs> you I'm quite fond of them. Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. I think so it might be a hand side night. Universe. Oh my God. It's got that kind of vibe, right? An alternate universe. And you don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome. You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out. Okay. Ta -da! This is the mystery labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Materializes mysteries? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this hmm. mystery labyrinth. That's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway. Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth, and we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. Okay. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. Dude, the jiggle the physics on our titties are just fucking insane. Too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. But whether or not you discover she really the got that VTuber the tech entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be too. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is going to be a tough battle. So you're saying there are traps in there? Yep. Looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. <clears throat> Hold on. I, I don't understand any of this. Seriously, you don't get it? Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if... We keep going. Mm -hmm. The Amaterasu Express case will be solved. Yup, you totally get it. What? I don't get anything. This makes no logical sense. Sheesh! This is why you're a bench warmer detective. Damn! In an alternate she on my ass. And hung up on details. Of course I am. Okay. Uh... I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. Okay. That'll make all your worries disappear. No, it won't. Please explain everything now. Relax, relax. <laughs> well, if I have to. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Chat, one's over here. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Let's see. Keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. 
W1 they're pressers. All solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kind of had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. Okay. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? Uh... The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Mm. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. I'll look that up for you, ma'am. No problem. Here's your solution key. New key. Amaterasu Express Map Guide. Okay, we have the route map. According to the log, the train did not stop once after departure. So this is a solution key. But why did it come out of your mouth? What do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. You put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. All right. I'll do my best. All right. Uh... The incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Aphex and Poochie's fortes proved there were no other passengers besides the six people inside of the train car. And who died first again? It was Zilch, and the first car's infirmary. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking Did he really window, die first, though? How do you know that? I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. That's just the first body we found. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but... It wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? In fact, I think Zilch died the most recent because, like, we put the fire out, whereas everybody else had already been burned. Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Mm, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. Jesus Christ. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. So, like, I think she was, like, because her eyelashes are still, like, gold as fuck, and her hairpin is still, like, just fine. I mean, there's something sussy about this body. Like, yeah, I, I the, the later cars seem like they were, like, burned to a crisp for, like, way longer. Oh, a flambe! A human flambe! The face is still barely recognizable. That reminds me, something was off about car two, right before the train entered the tunnel. Mm. There was a strange shaking. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure, uh, wind stuff. And there was a blackout right after, although it only lasted a moment. Yeah, what was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? No, 
when we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. There was something else, too. Something that happens when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. Blackout and shaking. Mm. Dude, I fucking love this game. This shit is Omega Core. Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. What up, Ella? Just like the first two cars. Oh, yeah. Wasn't there a secret base thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. Mm -hmm. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. Which is probably what happened, right? You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? Backup control system. Well, the train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds. But he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Hmm. Good night, Mort. Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. Anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. This image is going to be important later. I wonder for what. If it's just to connect the dots that the that the coffee and stuff was used to knock us all out. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. But it has the knife wound too, just like Zilch did. That can't be a coincidence. But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Oh my god, I just want to know what happened. Like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. Oh, and the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. Yeah, because we had to bust through it, right? And open it? Oh, man, I don't know. Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, according to the Peacekeeper's reports, they all burned to death. But that part seems off to me. Mm. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Chat, I'm, I got my thinking yeah, cap on. I think that's everything of note. enough solution keys to solve it but i still don't know how to use them master you worry too much i'm sure it'll what happened chat y'all hear some solution keys are important to solving mysteries yours truly is important too a solution key is a manifestation of clues related to a case you can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story sure along hope you got all that down. acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu try checking one out if a mystery labyrinth becomes too difficult to solve Shinigami's tutorial corner. labyrinth skills are abilities that can help you clear mystery labyrinths 
Acquire them by spending skill points, which you get when your detective rank increases. Hey master, do you need a power up? Labyrinth skills can be checked and acquired in the ability section of the notebook menu. Whichever skills. You can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires memory cost. So pay attention to how much you have left. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. Will things really turn out fine? Damn, this game looks really good for being on the Switch. Like, the reflections on the floor there actually look really good. Okay, chat. We're about to get our answers. So... This is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. Oh, wow. You're... what? Better write this down. There are places in the mystery labyrinth where their path just goes on and on. You can't move on until the scene plays out, so keep following the path until it does. Okay. Oh, interesting. So we have all of our solution keys here. Okay, let me, can I enlarge this? Yeah, cars one and five are like completely mirrored. That's really interesting. Hmm. Well, not completely mirrored. They're completely the same, I should say. Hmm. That's going to come into play, I fear. But I wonder how... Okay, what are these abilities? In abilities, you can check the master status as well as acquire and set labyrinth skills. Over this. In status, you can check master's detective rank, detective points, and the effect of skills when they're set. Hey master, in skills, labyrinth up? skills can be acquired by picking a skill mass uh, you want and spending SP. You best. Okay, you can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires memory cost. Okay. No active skills. Vitality, stamina. What the fuck? Um. This gives us vitality. Okay, apparently we need HP. So, and then to equip it, we need them. Okay, so you unlock them with SP and you equip them with whatever bullshit. In Shinigami puzzle sequences, remove one solution. In reasoning deathmatch sequences, shorten the assist ability's recovery time. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this means, but sure. <laughs> Oh, okay. I guess we're rocking out with these. What if you actually started in cart five and not one? That is something that I also thought of. But it wouldn't explain how we went from... It wouldn't explain how we went from that first cart into the dining cart directly afterwards. Unless the train car order got mixed up no because because cart five is the only cart where the the room or the cart number was charred every other cart we saw what number it was so i don't know if that's it either I, what, what we're gonna we're gonna fucking find out oh my god this looks crazy You just keep walking? 
Man, if you don't start sprinting. Hey, did something move just now? Oh, that's a Q. Okay. Q? Is that a monster living in the mystery labyrinth? They're not exactly monsters. Q are part of the mystery labyrinth itself. They're what materialize the mysteries. Mm -hmm. Q have no intelligence or autonomy. All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinths. But since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. So in other words, they're the enemy. Of course, as a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. <laughs> Maybe we need 60 stars to get to the end. Actually, it's 70. Idiot. <laughs> okay. Hello? What the? There are monsters here. That's a mystery phantom. Right, that makes sense. A mystery phantom? What's that? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. That's a mystery phantom. Interfering with the case? Hey, doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? If the peacekeepers a freaky fuck phantom type this, shit. Then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. You. You're the culprit. Huh? Oh, he tweaking. Hey, ho. Since all the other passengers on the train are dead, you're the only one who could have done the crime. He's got me. Caught. So you're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case. Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. What do I do? Should I just run away? A detective doesn't run from a mystery. You gotta defeat him. Defeat him? How? Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Huh? Just say, I am. Man, yeah, fuck the truth. I'm not trying to die. Yeah, I am. Um, man, they were freaky horny when they made this game, bro. Sword? <laughs> she got a long throat. What? A sword? I call it the solution blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the mystery lab. Oh, so instead of firing truth bullets, we're firing we're truth slashes. Kill the mystery phantom. Let's do this. Whoa, slow down. Uh, how do I use this? I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still. The more and more you're I got problems she can solve. You meant that? Oh boy. You'll wind up brain dead. It'll be game over. Time to start from the beginning again. No one wants that. So you better be super careful. 
Man, I kind of hate it when, like, games like this put that extra horny shit in here. Because, like, this game is literally peak fiction. But I fear, like, people wouldn't, would be put off by the fact that she just had this, like, four foot eight legit motherfucker shove his fist down her throat and take out a sword. But if you're a Giga Chad, then that doesn't stop you from playing peak. Traps and obstacles lie in wait inside of the mystery labyrinth. Make a mistake while facing them and master stamina will decrease. Okay. Um, man, the switch loads so slow. PS5 and Series X definitely spoiled me with loading times. During the Reasoning Deathmatch, or RDM, a mystery phantom will attack Master while making statements about the case. Getting hit by a statement means taking damage, so move up, down, left, and right to avoid it. Track it carefully to dodge. If you dodge a statement at the very last second, it becomes a daring dodge. The more daring dodges you make, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. So give it a shot if you've got the guts. The bonus for successful daring dodges is based on the max amount you can dodge in one cycle. Basically, there's a cap on how much you can get. Inflammable statements give you a chance to counter attack. Statements might contain a contradiction. Slash through it with the solution blade and fight back uh, against the phantoms. To expose the contradiction, you gotta pick the right solution key. The key is uh, already set in the solution blade this time. So find the contradictory and flammable statement and slash it. If you slash a statement containing a contradiction with the right solution key, you'll destroy it and damage the mystery phantom. Picking the wrong solution key or missing the timing means taking damage. Just some friendly advice. Okay, let me fucking play. All right, we got the coffee and the dining car. Oh, okay, you gotta do that way. Oh no, you just move. Oh, okay, bad. I thought I was supposed to jump over there. Everyone else is okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Wait, that's so cool. I'll slash through this mystery. That was so cool. No, there's no way I could have done it. I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. It's no use. Your deduction is wrong. His eyes are cool. Master, it's time for the Looks like there are more solution keys to choose from. The number of keys will change between RDMs. Use the correct key. Okay. Over this. All right. Testimonies of two detectives. Weave. Ridiculous. You're the culprit. Weave. You knew it was drunk. Weave. That's how you avoided being knocked out. Weave. The other detectives were drunk. And you went around killing them all. You're busted. You took the laced coffee. And only pretended to drink it. Wait. This is the truth. Bang! Strongest autography footage showed me drinking the coffee. That proves I wasn't faking anything. <laughs> no, wait, that's wrong. Oh, I'm locked in. This might end up beating on fucking Dang and Rampa. The, at the very least, the gameplay loop seems way better. But will Did it beat I the story of Dangan? That's the thing. It? Like the story of Dang and Rampa was always no my favorite part. You are, things will turn out fine. I don't think this game will touch it on, in terms of like the story. She tried but to we'll frame see. me as the culprit. Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. So somebody was an Amaterasu Corp spy. Was barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. 
So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu. Probably. Mm. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You're awfully casual about this. My life is at stake here. Shinigami is a lot more bearable now. Oh, you think so? <laughs> I understand now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. But what do you do here, Shinigami? Simply put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. The progress you've made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here. Yes, mama. All thanks to me. Uh, how are you able to do this? I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do this, so I forgot how. More importantly, you got drunk and knocked out. You are so pitiful, master. Um. No wonder you're walking around like a toddler. Um, can you stop cooking me, please? Because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. Huh? Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. That just reduces your lifespan by a lot. Um, what? You're kidding, right? Right? <laughs> anyway, who do you think is the culprit, master? Do you have any guesses? Um, uh, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Mm. Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Oh, wait a minute. You can't, because they're all dead! Um, right. You aren't taking this very seriously, are you? Okay, I just literally keep walking forward, I guess. Wait, is that a portal? Is that the beginning? No. This place. Ooh, what is the song? The path is forked in two. Which way should I go? This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you solve it. First, let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Huh? Uh, how do you do that? Like this. Yes, Mama. The sight? That's hard. Huh? What the? as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. Is that a question? Is the culprit one of the six on the train? Way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? Hmm. If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on board, I need to take the left path that says It has yes. to be one of the six on the board because there, it could literally be Which nobody else. Is it? There's only one truth. Questions relating to the case are asked in different forms inside of the mystery labyrinth. Choose the correct answers and take me to the truth. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Uh, it's gotta be yes. <laughs> So, you think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? Um, was I right? Right here! Okay, let's go. I guess we'll never know.
Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? Not bad at all, master. Um, hello? Oh, he's back. Ah! Something happened. Why? Did I make the wrong choice? It's trying to bury the truth again. Go get him, master. Okay, chat, let's lock in. Man, the, this is making me feel like my switch is broken. Like, the loading screens are really long. All right. Yes, this is only on the Switch. Testimonies of the Your two detectives or the map? Weave. Other than the six on the train. Weave. You must have had an accomplice. No, wait, that's wrong. This is the truth. Two master detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. Mm -hmm. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! Uh, any reason for that or are you just talking shit? Motherfucker got Kamoshida's tongue. Peacekeeper death report in the operation log. Uh, hold on. Let me see. The victims all burned to death. Operation log. Uh, it's probably gonna end up being this one, I think. No, wait! That's wrong, you fucking idiot! Stupid bitch! Controller's operation log showed that the train never stopped. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to get fucking bodied by facts and logic. They should have had you in the studio for that. You know what I'm saying? They had me roped up with Persona 6, so I couldn't do it, I fear. the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. All right, type shit. Hey, I was wondering, if the Mystery Labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth, <clears throat> wouldn't it reject my answers, even if they're right? Or maybe the question I don't see the point of these hallways, device. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why this is here. No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self-will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real world mystery. This place like they're so long for no fucking reason. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. I see. That's a relief. By the way, about the culprit being one of the I guess it's for years, these moments here where you're talking to the shooting on me. The crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's set up to that way when you're done with the dialogue with Shinigami, then it uh it opens up to the next path. Fork in the road. Okay. This is how we reach the truth. The I reach out to the truth. Solve, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. Mmm, bars. Oh, here we go. If everyone was dead, how did the culprit pull it off? Play dead. 
You leave all the heavy lifting yeah. to your lovely right. It's got to be play dead. Why does she go to it though? Come on. I'm still thinking here. Don't choose yet. I guess I'll think about the opposite door. Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. Master, leave this to me. Okay. This has to be the right answer. Hey, uh, wait. Need that. My best culprit just played dead. Yo, Death Drake, thank you for the 44 months. Welcome back, homie. How you doing, bro? And that's no fun at all. That's your reasoning? Wait, what's this chain? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is for I'm gonna need that. Tad, that means we're only three subs away from 30. Do it now, boy. Lucky, you're being haunted by a cutie like me. I am lucky. Tired as hell. Hey, bro, rest up, homie. I'm so tired. I pulled you up here so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. I didn't ask you to do that. And I'm not gonna lie, being like so streaming with no cam is just so fire. Truth, right? King Amaterasu, um, this is a labyrinth. thank you it's for the gift sub, but you're not gonna try to uh, frame me for murder, are you, buddy? <laughs> we go way back. Watch out! You see, what did I tell you? Dead end. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. That means she was wrong. Hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing. Oh, that. so they actually just killed themselves after. I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, dead. Oh, so the answer isn't play dead. Let's turn back. Damn. You changed your mind already? Exploring really? all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. They spelled Amaterasu <laughs> different, you good. So awesome. <laughs> That's fair. By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. But I'm not that good at solving mysteries. Man, I, I don't care if I find out who did it if they're dead anyways. What the fuck? You could have <clears> said that a little earlier. I just want to help. I like when you rely on me, master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world? I got something else I can rely to you on. Time to stop on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Which you don't like being called Master Chrono? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. Man, I want to eat some tuna fish We're straight out the can right now. Ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new mystery labyrinths. Labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. All right. So. They actually just committed suicide. Interesting. Ah, we're finally back. The other route is commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. Hmm. I don't know if it's true. But we have no other option, right? Let's solve this. God damn it. Maybe it's to end up, you know, getting proven to be wrong later.
I but planted a pipe bomb in your house. Crime would mean. After killing the other four, the culprit killed themselves, right? But how would they have stabbed themselves in the chest and burned themselves alive? Labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. If there's only one root, it's the only possibility. I think the only option left is the culprit off themselves. We just need to find that suicidal pest. Hmm. Maybe they'll make it hit when we find out more. I, I feel like they could probably make it hit. You know, finding out all the details and shit. Uh-oh, what's happening? Uh, what's going on here? Is that a cart? Hey, mama. It's part of the mystery materializing. You just need to solve it. Who was the last person to die during this incident? This way. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last <clears throat> person that died should be the culprit. Right? Wait. Because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work. This means the culprit is Catboy. Because I'm positive Catboy was the most recent person to die. Has to be. Come on, let's try again. Who set fire to the dead culprit? Of course, the person who started the fires must be the culprit. But why would Zilch do it? Culprit who died last totally. For Amaterasu, really? Who is the last person to be burned to death? One who burned the other four, then set themselves on fire. His zilch. <laughs> wow, it was zilch. Really? But you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die, why would it be to Dang. Class? Didn't we discover his body first? According to the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in car one, he wasn't burnt yet. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death after that. Although everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. All right. So if they all burned to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Four Eyes. Mm. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of yeah. how they found their corpses. Starting from car five, he killed them in order one by one. Which would make then sense on fire in car one. as to why car five was so charred. Because he set that shit on fire like a long time ago before killing everybody else. I heard this game is peak. Yeah, it's pretty fire so far. So Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit. But he committed suicide, huh? Did he move the bodies? Nah, they all knocked, got knocked out because they were drinking the coffee and the wine, which had uh, like a knockout drug in them. What the dog doing? Saying survive. Thank you for the 34 months. Welcome back. Chat one sub away from 30. Who got that? I know one of y'all got that. It worked. See, I told you it would be fine. I'm Man, I'm not gonna want to stop playing this game after we find out everything. Yeah. But it's gonna be so late. I might switch to a different game after Is that we finish this. That's my best. That's everything. Seems easier than I thought. Mm, what's wrong, Master? Yo, Stale, thank you for the prime, homie. I appreciate that. Thank you, brother. It means a lot that you're, you're a first time sub and you used your prime on me. I'm wondering if Thank that's you, homie. really all that happened. Something about this seems. Hope you enjoy the rebirth streams ad free. It does? You think so? What up, Goku? How you doing, bro? Saiyan <laughs> survive. Thank you for gifting another sub. Uh, what's going on? I'm not going to lie, chat. 
I think I'm gonna have to stream this game again tomorrow. I am actually like, this game is for me, bro. When did this game come out? It came out last year, right? Zilch killed the, the other four then set fire to himself. Is this the truth behind the case? There's only one door, no other options. Huh. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying. Nah, they're setting up for something well, crazy, chat. I hope this was a helpful tutorial if there's for anything, you, unless it is just a tutorial to get you used to the mechanics and then the real like mind fuck cases come later. Because Wait. Danganronpa will have like, remember in Danganronpa 1, the first case in Danganronpa 1 was like so obvious. So maybe they're doing something like that again. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case, including oh? things like Mr. Wait a minute, right? Which I appreciate that, Stale. Could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. Oh, I okay, Spike. I knew you weren't gonna do me like that. I knew you weren't gonna do me like that. So you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. Yes, sir. If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. Um. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't you think she mommy? Judgment. Bro, what kind of question is it? Already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. How do I do that? Demolish the conclusion door? Okay, demolish that bitch. So it was fake. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. Uh oh, what's going on? You said it just quit while you were ahead. I wonder what would happen if we went through, though. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna be kind of disappointed if that was the answer. So I'm glad that's not it. It looks like the man under my bed. Um, what are you gonna do about that? What was Zilch's power? He could like control animals, but they had to be four-legged, stupid animals. Mystery phantoms sometimes throw out noise. These will obstruct your vision and get in the way. So use Master Solution Blade to cut them down. The more noise destroyed, the bigger bonus you get later. Okay. This was also in Danganronpa. Did we see bro do that? We didn't, so he could have lied. The reason is obvious. Zelch is the only one who could have done the crime. I don't know if that was the right. No, it wasn't. Hmm? That's right. The culprit must be Zelch. Wait. The reason is obvious. Zelch is the only one who could have done the crime. Did I not? Ron, right, let me read this again. What's with that knife? Does it somehow prove Zilch's involvement after killing everybody he up with a knife and set him on fire, really? Right. Yeah, that can't be right, which means the solution key should go with that statement. The culprit must be what? Is that not what I've been pressing? The reason is obvious. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime. I guess I just tried the other one, or do I just dodge mm -hmm. this? The culprit must be Zilch. 
Oh, it's A to slash the noise. Okay, I think I just dodged this. Suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? <laughs> you little brat. Fine. I'll answer <clears throat> you. Okay, let's go, boys. What's our truth bullets this time? Blood stains on the interior, coffee in the diamond car. Stupid as fuck! Jesus Christ, you're a dumbass! <laughs> I fucking love these games, dog. If his plan was to fall unconscious, he would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. That's a much easier way to pass out. Nah, you, whoa, actually, yes, Dale. You need to play FF7 Remake before you play Rebirth. Yeah, this game is peak fiction, chat. Cinema. I see. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives. She's bad. Lay off my girl, bro. But Zulch's corpse in the first car is different. To me, it looked more like he was stabbed to death. So the peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they have no reason to do that. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. I get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. <clears throat> Huh? King Amaterasu, you gotta. I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first. You've been for two and a half years. Did you, did you change I your name? I investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had nope, you just be lurking. Hey, good shit. I appreciate so, you. You think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Huh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, mm. fine. My secret weapon is so draining. I try to avoid using it as much as possible. A secret weapon, you say? But I just love it when you rely on me, master. I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? This is all for you, Master. Ready, Master? Oh. Wait. Um, what is happening? <laughs> so you can like recreate the crime scenes type oh, yeah. shit. The voices. <laughs> What's going on? I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. 
this is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate here, you not domain expansion. <clears throat> oh, the shock from all this is making my head spin. You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. Damn, I've been holding in a piss you for like an hour, dog. Up. Now hurry and investigate. I'm just locked in. You got it. I'll hurry. Crime scene recreation. Okay, I'm gonna take a piss real fast. All right, we back. Um, what? All right, my bad. I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Okay, so we reconstructed this shit, and uh, let's see what this is sitting on now. Uh, let's talk to her. What she asked us. Hey. There should be some new info inside. This won't hold out for too long. Okay. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. Mm. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. Mm. But how could that be? The knife was put in there after the fact? Oh, so I can get solution keys here too. You may have seen it, but forgotten. That just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. Ah, okay. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. Oh, don't make her wet, bro. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. Ah, uh, the voices. Huh? This cushion? Was it always there? Mm. Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. From the knife? It was made by something sharp. What oh, I usually put that on my pillows too. Like, how's you gonna fuck them? We've all been there. Crime scene recreated. <laughs> oh, was it something I said to have my boy? Oh, it's fading. I guess the pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I Come on, Oh fuck, I accidentally pressed A. To I'm an L man. Solve the mystery. I sure. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do what? Or when you're stuck in your deductions. Okay. Remember hey, what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. And we're gonna find it by working together. Benny just jumped out of my lap, everyone. Working Benny's together? my cat, by the way. If you're watching on YouTube, you don't know who the fuck I'm talking about. Lay it all out, master. I was gonna lock my door and keep him from coming in my room, but when I went to go use the bathroom, he looked like he missed me a lot. Okay, so what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this is not Danganronpa, Adam. It's a game made by the same people. The Shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth. What? Okay. The truth is hiding somewhere in the letters on the side of the barrel. Uh, the, uh, blah, blah, blah. okay. Read the question, then knock out the letters in the right order. Make a mistake and the time limit will be reduced. If you can knock the letters out in the right order, I'll be imbued with the power of truth and unleash a special move that'll open up a path. By the way, if you feed me the solution keys floating around the barrel, I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind. Grab the key and bring it to my mouth. This game, wow. This game is just way too horny, I feel. But there are some solution keys you can't get hints from. If I eat one of those, the time limit will be reduced. Try to solve it, lickety split. <laughs> hmm. 
He used the cushion to block the knife, pretending to be dead. Uh, it was a red herring. Twirling, twirling, oh, I gotta throw twirling. a blade. I didn't even see the fucking prompt at the bottom. Bitch. Hooray! Yo, this game is for freaky ass frogs, dog. Holy shit. I don't know if I could ever recommend this game to somebody, man. I think this game is awesome, but like, holy shit. It's so horny. That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. So he faked his That's death. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it even though the cushion was stabbed through. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead uh -huh. us. Wait, a treasure. <laughs> Zilch's death was just a red herring to hide the truth. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. Yeah, I think Zilch was faking his death. To I think a us. reason why Danganronpa may not have been that horny is because the game was like literally about like high schoolers and shit like that. And maybe like that stopped them. I don't know. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. But the peacekeepers report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. So the culprit was just playing dead. It's exactly what I said. In a roundabout way, yes. Which means that dead end in the abyss. That never stopped anime before. Now. I know, but like, maybe the reason why they didn't have Kyoko fucking titties bouncing in the air, like stripping butt naked, is because like they're still in a school environment. Let's hurry back. I don't know. Cause like, my God, the way they left, the way they left a high school setting and turn into the most horny game I've ever played is crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? I was abrupt. What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. I despise effort and hard work. <laughs> Just like me. Easy way. Congratulations. Yo, J Bot, thank you for the 68 months type shit. Welcome back, gang. Thanks to my awesomeness. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Now is the perfect time to use it. Evac or Zoom? Super easy. Yeah, sure. But unfortunately, using it. Does One more month. Ha, nice. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? Your lifespan. Um. Uh, right. My lifespan again. So we passed through. How did the culprit pull it off, Junction? And have taken the play dead turn again. You're 21 now, time to ruin your liver. Happy birthday. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's give it a try. All right, chat, lock it in. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. What proves the culprit played dead? Select the solution key that answers the question in front of you. 
say that. Oh, do I just use solution key? <laughs> Red herring. Now talk to me, nice kitten. Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. Make that motherfucker do it for real next time. Dead root thanks to the corpse red hair okay. solution key. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now we just need to prove it. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Okay. Huh? Why what wouldn't we that? worry about that? Let's save the fun for later. <laughs> Chad, did I eat that shit? Yo, I could be Shinigami low key. I got the titties oh, for it. The ground, it's falling apart. You better run, master. Why? Wasn't this the right route? Man, I'm getting hungry as hell, boy. <laughs> um, is she choking my ass? What the fuck did he just do to me? Was what Yuma saw through the window actually Zilch? Oh shit. No. They gave me a trick question, chat. That's not fair. I knew the answer was yes, but I said no. I just wanted to see what the animation looked like. That's all. Type in, type in, type in, type in, type in, type in. Obviously, why would you say no when you fucking stupid? <laughs> Why are you fucking stupid? Like, obviously, what the hell? When I saw Zilch through the window, he was faking his death with a knife to the cushion. That was definitely the real Zilch. Was the burnt corpse in car one actually Zilch? Um, fuck, no. Oh, it was. The corpse I uh, was real. It just wasn't Zilch's corpse. It was um. What is his face? Chat. What's his name? Y'all know his name. Um. Uh. Logan Paul. What's his name? The guy that had the shiesty on. Epoch. Something. You know what I'm talking about. In other words, Zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. Apex. There you go. Before Yuma entered, after Yuma entered. It had to be before. There's no way he could have done it after. The corpse was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Zilch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. But where did Zilch go? to show he died from burning it was right. also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse so then how did he get so then how did he get Aphex's body to the fifth car what is going on right 
in the smoke he switched places with a corpse he had hit how did the train not burn down they use burn blankets oh hey going into the tv world like persona 4. um where are we next up you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden right because the room was filled with smoke he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately where are you thinking if he right, needed to get to the body as quickly as possible under the gurney right sense. it has to be under the gurney Use the on-screen cursor to select the spot that answers the question. Okay. It's gotta be under under the bed, hundred percent. Oh, I put that shit on my life. That's it. The bird corpse was hidden right there. Am I the smartest person you've ever met? Probably. Um, what's going on? You're being weird. After another, this is really bad for my heart. We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up. Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. I can't believe it. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna see, Stale. I don't know. I got a lot of questions still, too. So, that four eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body. I'm so jealous. Okay, she a freak bull, I'm man. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. She a freak bull, man. Zilch was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket. This is so elaborate. And stabbed it. That way, <laughs> even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? It must have been someplace with easy access, which must mean under the bed, tight. Under the bed, he could have quickly hid there. Like that is so Jeez. extra. What the you fuck? Out of the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that too. He knew I'd panic. That was so risky. I mean to take advantage of you from the very beginning. And that's why he let you in. Oh, you know yeah. what? I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. I like you don't think you need to walk. I don't think so either. Sleeping in the infirmary. So he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. Passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah, he must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. No, if I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. I guess so. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? That corpse? Well, um... Oh, hey! Uh, again! I won't let you go any further. The same corpse in in uh cart one was in cart again, five as well. Huh? We just don't know how the fuck if they got the corpse there. Against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. I will not. All right, fellas. Reasoning death match. 
Lock in. Yeah, that's a lie about his power. Maybe he can control dead things. Hmm. It's probably it's probably something to, uh, with his power. Maybe. Huh? Assist? It's the rule of the mystery labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, master. Looks like you might not need assist. By using assist, your partner inside the mystery labyrinth will help you out. When a partner's assist is activated, a mystery phantom statement won't inflict any damage. So use it to take a closer look at what they're saying. Right. It's gotta be Apex's corpse. Wait. I did not mean to use that shit. Same happened to me, Code. The Unicorn Overlord demo was so good. There's no need to bring an extra corpse for the swap. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. <laughs> it's Aphex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Aphex's. I mean, we called that from the beginning, I fear. How could someone like you the truth. But how did he do it? That's our only question. It has to be something to do with his with his forte. Like it just has to be. Yeah, Code, I fear this game has me locked in. Mystery Labyrinth isn't over yet. Stay alert until the very end. All right. Okay. Wow. Who would have thought that short tempered idiot would be used for a body swap? Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. Mm -hmm. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Yup. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? He totally went green. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay. We gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so the most value out of corpses too, you know? Hmm. Okay. Let's lock in. On the train. On the train again. Oh, hey. Zilch? Oh, what? Wait, I am not the culprit. Wait, is this how he was traveling through the roof of the... What is happening? I am a victim who was already killed. He lied. So, leave me alone. Hey, he ran away. After him, master. Chat, what the yeah. fuck is happening? You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me, but Aphex? But you went to car five after car one and discovered his corpse there. How was the corpse transported from car one to car five? That is true. That it require moving past you. Maybe what you did right here. Right, if he slipped past us, when did that happen? 
has to do with the blackout and the shaking. Was that him jumping from train cart to train cart? Or so it has to be with the shaking. It's got to. Um, okay. Loading. Loading. Are we winning? We always are. What up, homie? Welcome to the stream, monster. Oh, we got two pathways to go down. Man, this game looks beautiful, actually. I like, know funny shit. Where did he run off to? Another mystery that needs to be solved. When moving the body from car one to car five, the culprit absolutely moved through the train. Had to have. Thinking about it rationally. We have to assume that they carried the corpse through the train. No, that's impossible. Huh? Impossible. 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 Oh, he tweaking. Oh, he tweaking. Oh, he tweaking. Oh, he. Oh, oh, he tweaking. Why is it always the cat boys? Chat one's up here. Into a mystery phantom. Get it, master. W press, W press, W press, W press, W press. If you don't type anything in the chat right now, I'm just going to assume that you love yourself and that you think you're sexy and that you're happily married and you get a lot of bitches. Blackout and shaking. It's blackout and shaking. Put that shit on my leg. Oh, I thought Just I ducked. <laughs> the train's are quite narrow. The corpse is heavy enough as it is. Lugging a corpse through the hallway. You would certainly have noticed. That means hmm? your deduction is all wrong. Huh. I'll say it once more. Not transport the corpse from car one to car five. That's true. Hmm. Plus, when we investigated the private rooms, we kept the doors open for security. If someone had passed through the hallway, I probably would have noticed. They would have had to sneak past me, too. There's no way anybody got through that corridor. How did he travel? If we we're certain nobody used that corridor, then the corpse must have been brought in from outside the train, not inside. If so, the culprit would need to be able to pass by us without being What up, Baja? Used. How you doing, gang? What are you mumbling about? Just admit that your deductions were utter nonsense. God, I want pork chops so bad right now. That's just the most random craving ever. Is that you know I'm pregnant once in chat? If they didn't pass through the train, do you think the corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. The doors locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. You're fucking stupid as fuck! Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Oopsie. I meant to press the X button to attack, but I fucking missed. <laughs> um, let's try that again. Oopsie. The doors are all locked shut. The doors locked when the 
train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. The train is moving. We? No issues occur during the train's operation. You're stupid as fuck, you idiot! Kill yourself now! You know, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and car four. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Mmm, donkeys. <laughs> Don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Hmm. All right, lock in. Forget the shaking and the blackout. Okay, what do we got? It is burned and distorted in an unusual manner. It's got to be this one. They were nothing but coincidences. The Weave. blackout was just a bad contact. You're stupid as fuck. Kill yourself. You're actually dumb as shit. If you die today, nobody would miss you, bitch. Should have been you. Should burn you alive, pussy. No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. Is one second yeah. enough time though? I feel we just gave him back shots. Yeah, I, I've moved a dead body in one second before. I mean, Master, you may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? Backshot. The main control system was in car. Tad, I'm behind you, Backshot. The body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. Hmm. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case... How would... It has to be his quirk or whatever it's called. I let him move the body. Ah! I knew it! A mystery is blocking you! Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. It has to be his quirk. So this is the question we're facing right now. When car when one was... Because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm. Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. Well, Back as shots. mentor, I better think hard too. <laughs> the main control system failing. The blackout. The train shaking. Oh yeah! Why did the train shake like that? Hmm. There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... Uh... Oh, uh, wasn't there a 
was some shaking right before the Girl, haven't you said this like five times already? The whole train shook. The blackout. Ah, I don't get it. Just let me cook, bro. That's right. The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted It in has to be a quirk. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh, did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Let's go, Master! Lay it all out! She doing too much? Back shots. Okay. <laughs> I think he would have felt the quirk oh, happening. Maybe something happened to the train when it shook. The main control system was lost when car one was... When car one was what? Main control system was lost when car one was. Am I being stupid? I might be dumb. I <laughs> Restart Labyrinth from the beginning is nasty work. Wait, what is the checkpoint? Can I skip this? Oh, nah, you can't skip this shit. Oh, nah. Okay, you can hold R and fast forward. What the fuck is the answer here? I tried R, is it H? Okay. When it was detached. Because we knew they could detach. Jesus Christ, I fucking need her on my fucking god. All right, my bad. These suckers, even if you know the answer, you gotta know. Yeah, for real. I'm not sure how that explains. The first car was separated from the train? Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because... 
The first car was cut off from the rest of the train. We okay, I did say that a while ago. Let's keep going for now. But like, can it get detached and then reattached? Or um, master, I don't really get it. What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Okay. Did it just shake? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. Oh shit again. Ah! There it is again. It's bigger than ever. How much longer will this keep happening? I feel like I'm gonna suffocate. Now's not the time to be suffocating. I agree. Let's lock in. Ah! Again. The body was transported along with the entire car. Given that the first car was cut off, I did say that the body could be moved. I don't remember how long ago it was, but I did say that. That was one of my hypotenuses. Right. I think I see what happened. Seems like you got it. Let's do this. Yes, mama, I need you, mama. Try to solve it. Let's log in. Let's log in. Bong? No! Sniper? Bong. From downtown. Splash. Bang. If I saw the beat of my dick right now, no one would ever know. Hey. My God. I'm a fire in my laser. Someone said I look like Shinigami. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. Transported the corpse with the entire car? Nonsense. This? Oh, wow. This game is crazy. The first car is at the front of the train. Apex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? Uh, um... It's gotta be his quirk. It has to be his quirk. Don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. Calm down. Stay calm. Think. But we have no proof uh, of that. How swap the position of the first and fifth cars? If I can answer that... I can solve this mystery once and for all. Because the cars can be operated How independently, right? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout? The blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. Master, here it comes. You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him. I will for you, mommy. Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing. Because they're all wrong from the very beginning.
All right. I wonder what my truth bullets are gonna be. Sorry, my solution keys. Red herring route map. It's gotta be. Hmm. Might be disorder plate. Look at that. No, wait. That's wrong. Ow. You fucking stupid bitch, kill yourself! This is the truth. Try to lie to me again, boy. That time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars. Yeah, he's weak, chat. We're him. We're master detectives after all. Chat, back to us. The first time the train trip was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, but the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This is when the train shook for the second time. You're right! The first car moved all the way to the back! And his corpse was found right towards the door to car one. Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own, but the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But yeah. All train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Yep, cock. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. Doesn't that solve everything? It's time you gave up. No, that's crazy. Um, he's not giving up, chat room. Huh? What? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end. Which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. Are you fucking stupid? So... You're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. What? Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you do. We never opened that last wrong. door, though. No, I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove it to you. All right, chat, lock in. Oh, fuck. I hate this. Get in there, mama. God, I wonder what it smell like. Let's work together as a team. From the start, the Amaterasu was a... Maybe the 
Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? Mm. If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. <laughs> huh? So there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead... But hold on, doesn't don't we have a, a train map that showed five cars? I'm That's confused. when Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. But you can't access the fifth car. The one at the end. Oh. The door appears to be broken and won't You can't open. access the fifth car. So, it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. Oh. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. Oh. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot they're trying to set up my boy waiting at the station's platform and all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it so they were all in on it or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one <laughs> if there was another car one then there will be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how I broke it. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate the gotcha. new car one? Okay. I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a It was. The I hallway. noticed that I didn't say anything at the time though. They use it to break the window. Damn. And that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Isn't that right? Zilch. So, he was So it wasn't his quirk. He that's that's just how they set it up. What if they get at the end of this, but then the 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 big fat guy is just like, no, I reject your theory, and then just arrest him anyway. Not too much, not too much. Right. Why was that so loud when he said right? What the fuck? The badge though's not adding up why the badge is burnt. They burned it specifically so that way they could hide what Everything cart it was. Because it's actually cart one and not cart five. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's gonna happen next. First car and the fifth was a really big trick to pull off. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Oh. Uh. And the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been. You done can't tell if it's car one or five. Yeah, exactly. Well, it'd be easy for they did that because it. they detached it and the then train. reattached it to the front. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Mm. Why are you so sure of that? Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. I thought something else was going to happen. What is... This. Bro, this game is crazy as hell. Looks like a fort to me. 
A fortnight? With this kind of protection? I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. So the truth is here. You can't have the truth. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Master, time to show him how dangerous you Dude, really are. This is about to be a five hour long video. The file size for this I'm is gonna be fucking right insane. Now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's boom kill time. Okay. I'm also fucking recording this in 1440p. Man, I'm playing a Switch game. <laughs> Shit, here we go again. Um, what? Loki need that. God, Shinigami. To overcome the last stand of a phantom, tear through all the obstacles with the mega sized god, great onset destroyer, me. Uh, okay. Kick, tackle, jump. Blast away the gigantic iron balls released from a phantom's fortress with a corresponding kick. When an obstacle comes close and the screen slows down, press the action button to attack. Missing the input timing means failure and taking damage. Okay, which one is kick? A. Pussy. And then for these, you gotta tackle. Kill yourself. And then next, you're gonna have to jump. Hey! Lock in, lock in. Man, dumbass. Lock in, chat. Bitch. Destroy the wall with the solution key. Right. Open the solution key window. And pick a key that contradicts the phantom statement. Say that. The solution key to smash through the wall, master. You're wrong. Huh? Kill yourself now. Oh yeah. No, there are traces of a swap. The warped plate from car five. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said car one. Yeah left as it was it would have messed up your plot to make car one look like car five that's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition you know what makes no sense like i don't know how to explain it <laughs> i give up <laughs> like by the time car by the time the train got to the next station wouldn't car one then become car five at the new station does that make sense you guys know what i'm trying to say yo aries thank you for the prime for three months welcome back homie it's like if it's labeled as car one by the time it gets to the next station, it's car five. So there's nothing backing up your deduction. 
You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. Wait, that reminds that makes no sense. Looks like we need another solution key to boom kill him. Hey, what is this? You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. There is proof. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember. It's my blood. Bodied by facts and logic. What? When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. So we knew that last car was the same car. The latch, but we were kind of off about like how exactly it happened. The would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This is the truth of the case. Now die. Yeah, the people that write these trials are fucking insane with how convoluted they be thinking about them. In, bro it's done the fuck is going on i have no context i'll be uploading this as a, a video on my youtube channel if you want to check this out because i might be streaming this again because i really loved this i'm not gonna lie you had to have checked the fifth car but the culprit wasn't there He is kind of right about that. Must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car, probably someplace safe. Oh, the car we couldn't get into. Main control room A. It's got to be. Kaiju battles for court was not on my bingo card, bro. It's so gas hiding inside the main control room which was locked shut the I don't know whether time. to name this video Danganronpa fan plays raincoat for the first time or persona fan plays raincoat for the first time because if I put persona fan plays it'll probably hit harder to my existing audience of persona fans but yeah, I don't fucking know I didn't have the key so I could never have gotten inside I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track if the trains management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. Mm. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. No, it's not. What if it ends up not being Zosh? Like at the last second. I'm not the culprit. Great detective work. I call that a critical hit. He seems like he's barely standing. Hey, shoot. All that's left is to finish him off. Finish him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can. Bonkai. Scatter, Senbon Sakura. Hey! Deduction. De they made up that word. <laughs> Time to expose this crime. The cheeks and everything. Uh, okay, so now we gotta like put everything where it belongs, type shit.
Wait, what, what did I even have? Oh, I have the fire extinguisher on, my bad. Okay, so what is this? Only minutes till departure. Table of contents. Oh, fuck. Oh, here we go. move on or oh it goes from right to left I guess that makes sense all right they gather in car two I'm about to take the drink right here get some sleep uh I believe you're also awake my kitten What is this? Carries Apex's body to the infirmary. What was used to break the window? Wait, I know this part. I think I'm almost done with this and I'm gonna end. No, wait, that's wrong. What is this? What was used to put the detectives to sleep? The kafefe. The knockout drug. I'm about to head to bed. Balamla, I'm hungry. What was used as a red herring? Knife and a cushion. Pussy. I'm actually so cracked. Where was the culprit hiding? Under the bed. Give me the nudes. Does it make me want to finish Dangan too? You should. Dangan 2 is really good. Where was, or what was the culprit doing in the main control room? That bitch ass motherfucker was hiding. Oh no, detaching the train. That shit. Kiss me on the lips. What happened when car one was detached? Blackouts. PB and J will get you right. I wish I had Uncrustables. I have two over one and three. I think a lot of people do. What does this say? What did the culprit burn? Apex's body. Oh wait, me when I'm dumb, I meant the fucking badge. Uncrustables are on GoPuff. I, if I get Uncrustables, I'm dead ass punishing two of them hoes. I still gotta make my thumbnail too, man. What happened after exiting the tunnel? Attachment to car one. Two ain't enough? I have to limit myself to two, bro. Which body was found last? Nikita, get out of my room or I'll fucking destroy you. Who is the culprit? Zilch. Mystery unraveled. Don't talk to her like that. She's up to no good, I can already tell. She's a bad kitten. You miss her, you'll be able to see her next week. Yeah, buddy. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction denouement. Denouement is how it's said. The the fake ass word. What up, hub? For the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai Ward. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. All because you were fast asleep in the lost and found master. If you'd kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, I can't wait either, Lumi Hana. The fifth and final one was left at the station. And 
I'm glad I decided to record this, though. I really enjoyed this. Man, I hope the people on YouTube like this shit, man. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. And the culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. Because this shit got me flipping burgers on Twitch, I'm not gonna lie. Who was the first person on the train? So they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. But it's also been mad late, so I bet I bet a lot more people would have watched if it wasn't so late. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill. But it was actually the drug. Uh, this thought yours truly was responsible. Sticks and stones won't do much to it. I feel like a lot of Dangan fans are closeted. Bro, that is literally me. I never let anybody know that I love Dangan wrong <laughs> I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but since you look like a super easy target, they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Hmm. Once I left, the other Master Detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. But then burned everyone to death. Setting all those master detectives on fire. On purpose. What a psycho. This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt I'm ordering a three pack of Uncrustables at five o'clock in the morning, and yes, I will be eating all three. Somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Apex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse, and here I thought chivalry was dead. What a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. A knife and cushion created. Man, she a hearing. freaky ass bull, dog. I love a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While you were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. They must have seen me then and timed it. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Chest. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. That was when the culprit took out Aphex's burnt corpse, switched places with it, and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. <clears throat> Just like a magic trick, a switching places under a veil of smoke. Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. Man, I really wish I never played Danganronpa. I would love to stream those games for the first time. Unlock the room and went inside. Just like the culprit planned. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. After the smoke cleared, I found Zelch's body burnt to a crisp. At least, that's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. The culprit had me completely fooled. Why they picked the time consuming method of roasting someone to death. Plus, the body was about the right Let me order this pregnancy test while I'm at it. I bolted out of car one after seeing the corpse. The culprit was under the bed at that time. Huh. They probably left at you from there, watching everything unfold like they planned. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. That caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup <coughs> system. So when the train shook, was there or was there not jiggling the glass? Take a guess. Imagine Bro coughed and ruined his whole plan. <laughs> 
to work. Nah, that's some shit I would do. <laughs> that's funny. First, Apex's corpse was carried to the corridor, and the necklace removed earlier was placed back on. Then, the car one number plate was burned, so that it couldn't be properly identified. With everything in place, Wait, that's right. Zilch did hear Yuma talking to uh, Shinigami. Must have thought. Must thought he was fucking crazy. Well, this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yeah, the train, which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car one was moving alongside us. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached car four. Now behind car four, that car became car five. The slot was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient. Nah, bro, y'all hear how crazy and convoluted this car is? Five attached it to the back of car four. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my Klaus, but the power stayed on. After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. Oh, Go Puff isn't delivering until 7 a.m. So much I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in the Oh fuck. I'm gonna have to starve, y'all. Realizes actually car one. I found the corpse. I deduced that it was Apex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Using a dead body? Oh, this is a scary brilliant idea! When the train arrived in Kanai War, Connected to a different pre-arranged car. Actually, I like this game summary way more than the Dangan games. Yeah, the Dangan games felt more. They were like a, like like a comic book, like a comic strip type shit. Peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. As a sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. This game's crazy because if we hadn't contracted this the devil, we'd be in jail. Right? Hey, shit. During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. And waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. After burning all the master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to frame me as the killer. Uh huh. A cold blooded scheme. Yeah, I can't wait to see Zilch back in the real world. And by A, pussy. <laughs> Zilch Alexander, it was you. Yeah, what's up, pussy? mystery labyrinth the soul of the true culprit wait what am i supposed to do with this <laughs> now it's time for the main event 
Here we go. It's my time to shine. Yes, mama. My fault. Oh, what the hell? Surging bloodlust, overflowing despair, the brilliant soul of Shinigami. Shall it close oh. this cursed case? Death to all the horrible. Move into the final mystery labyrinth. Ooh, this song is crazy. Wow, that looks beautiful. Holy shit. I'm about to make a deal with the devil too, shit. Pay shit. Where do I sign up? Where do I find that? Pay shit. <coughs> Emoted before killing that dude. That's just how God intended. What? Uh huh? We're back? Um. What are you talking about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken. Yet. The peacekeepers will take care of you. We have all the time in the world. Hey, yo, check the cart, huh? bitch. Huh? What? Shinigami, where are you? Nothing here's changed. Um, What's going on? Uni said P3 is now one of her see? new favorite games. Get it! Cinema. Wait, I know who the culprit is. What? It's Zilch. He's still alive. He framed me. What are you talking about? He's already dead. Uh, huh? But demo. Shut up. This is not up for discussion. Uh, what a waste of time. What the fuck? Take him away. What is happening? Shigami, where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen. After all that. Oh no, nah. can you please go back? Please shut the fuck up. You're so cute when you panic, so why head to enjoy the view for a bit? Stop playing around! Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. <laughs> Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away! What? He's dead! Huh? Looks like it's over. Wait, huh? what? What's over? Shinigami. Wait, is Zilch dead? On? There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth. Oh also my perished. god, she killed him. The source. Um. Uh, my immersion. That's right. The true culprit dies. Then that report saying Zilch, the true culprit, was dead. And that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. Wow. Now innocent and free to go, master. A happy Hold on, but doesn't him dying kind of like not prove my innocence at all? There's nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. Okay. 
Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? How did you know that? I thought so. Ah! If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Oh. Someone died in front of our, my eyes, was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? Ooh. Yes, his teeth say money. W man's. You think you can weasel your way out of this? You better not forget you're in Kanai Ward now. You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation. No, um, I didn't mean... Hey, don't surrender so easily. You were so close. Man, she got me carrying our legacy, y'all. You're <laughs> under arrest. Listen, you got no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer either. Take him That away. character portrait in the bottom left is nuts. Just a second. Oh, Megalo. Hey, excuse me. Do you have a minute? You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. Wait, he looks cool as we fuck. Follow orders from the higher up. So uh, let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a Wait, he looks cool as shit. To do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me. Yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. Eee! So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone. I've never listened to a JJK say. dub, so I don't know if this is Gojo. Not the Vulture's earrings. Let's go. You know, he kind of does sound like he would be Gojo, though. I'm not going to lie. I've never heard his English voice, but that kind of sounds like it would be it. Goodness, that worked out. Who is he? Daddy. Beats me? We need more anime games where I can thirst after the main cast because they're not all in fucking middle school. Like, more anime games with adults, please. Well, I bet that was quite a long trip for you. It was. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Thanks. You must be Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? I can't believe that's his I real am. ass name. And you are? <laughs> I'm Yako Furio. Are we just a short person? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Yuko is 4'8. Yeah, didn't you say that? Voided? I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency, and the only detective agency in Kanai Ward. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. <clears throat> uh, thanks. The pleasure is all mine. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. Right. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Really? He's clearly just some careless, middle-aged man. Oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. Right. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. Right. Okay, I won't tell anyone. 
Well, even if you did, they'd just assume you're some crazy person. Now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I'd like to hear the details about this incident. Um, uh, right. Killing half the covers on the cover art in the first mission broke my ankles. Yep, cock. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. I don't know when's a good time they to end off. interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you say no one? You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Uh, the thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. <clears throat> They're always itching for a fight. <laughs> kind of like You're about to finish dogs. the prelude? <laughs> All right. Right. Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. Oh, wow. A uh, hitman? They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. The result of which is this Amaterasu Express Massacre. Yeah. So Silch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand. Oh, used as a disguise. shit. You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. Oh. There was a separate first car, the station before you arrived, where Zilch's oh. body was hidden. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward and connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. Wait. But that doesn't explain how there was an extra master detective. Right? Because there was only supposed to be five master detectives, but there were six. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. They would go to such lengths? Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. That's all thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the okay, they're about to talk about it. The Amaterasu Express, including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Yeah, so oh, I'll explain that later. Anyway, let's leave this place. What, can you explain it now? I want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. I'd rather you just explain it to me now because I want to know. Man, you could tell they got a bigger, a way bigger budget from the Danganronpa games. It's raining. Damn, this should look crazy as hell, man.
Um. Who's that guy? Beats me. What? Massacre on the Amaterasu Express. How much did you I buy? Did I buy the FF Collection game for? I think it was like eighty dollars. I see. I see. Once the culprit is boom killed, you get rewarded based on how well Master did inside the uh, mystery labyrinth. Are you gonna remember You'll get a reward this? for each overall <laughs> rating uh, between SS and C. Not only do you get a reward for the rating you receive, but every rating below it. So try to shoot for the top. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. Okay. Damn, look at all these rank ups. Nice. Okay, so I think I just have to end off right here. I really want to know about the extra uh, peoples, but I think I just ended off here, chat. Hey, look, man, if you guys want to see more of this, I got to run up this YouTube video, bro, like that ass. I already know when I upload this shit, it's going to be a 10 of 10 on YouTube. This shit is going to flop. But I would still love to make more. I absolutely love this game. This is Omega Core to the core. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching episode one, five fucking hours long. Jesus H. Christ. I'll catch you guys in episode two if there is one.